Go for my body. Unfuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? The star of Gore World? Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? How's it going? Happy New Year, everyone. It's our first session of 2023. And I'm so excited that it starts with somewhat of a new intro or a little added something to the intro. Can anyone believe that this bitch had the nerve last night to call herself the star of girl world? She's the star of girl world in her own mind. Ah, uh, hard disagree. Hard disagree. I mentioned yesterday in our uh, Doherty Dozen react that, in my opinion, she's definitely not the star of girl world. Even at the height of the crack at Olympics, she was not the star of girl world. She may have worn the crown for a brief period of time, but uh, the star, she never was. Uh, I present to you exhibit a, hold on. <laughs> One day I'll have the timing of this so right, and I'll just be talking and poof, the things that I want will pop up on the screen. Today is not that day. Uh, the real star of Girl World. <clears throat> um, oh, look at that. That's right. That's a little split screen right there. That's the girls head to head up against each other. Pew, 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 pew. Look at those. Just the last four videos alone, Amberlynn on top, 64,000 views, 52,000 views, 51,000 views, and 41,000 views. Chantal's last four, 14,000, 17,000, 11,000, and 9,200. Bloop, excuse you, ma'am. <laughs> You're not the queen of nothing, okay? You're not the queen of the community. You're not the star of the community. And you don't even wear the crown anymore. <laughs> How does that feel? I hope that burns. It should burn. The audacity of this woman. The audacity to say, the star of girl world. Girl, as if. Just because Amber's so boring, I can't watch her at all anymore does not mean you're the star, okay? Pixie. Hey, Pixie. Thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year to you, too. Oh, I like the super chat. Two, two, three. Very cute. Thank you so much, Pixie. Okay, so our girl was live last night. Everybody knows, like, by now. Uh, it all popped off when Yo Mama was live and Chantal was in the chat and Chantal ended up getting blocked by one of the mods. Chantal was shooting her big fucking mouth in the chat called somebody a hillbilly, and she got blocked by a mod. So she took to a live stream. The audacity. How dare you block the star of Girl World? And she was so angry. And then we came live, and I thought her smug ass was probably like, ah, here we go. And we talked about Doherty Dozen. So she had been rejected in Yo Mama's chat. She was being completely ignored over here on our live stream. We once again had more people watching live in our live stream about Doherty Dozen than she had on a rage stream from Kuwait. So she was just fucking losing her shit last night, raging. The, maybe something had happened with the bitch boy because he was like in the other room, apparently playing video games. It was a whole thing, but it seems like he was pissed. Something had happened and she was raging and it's now deleted. So... To start the year, our first stream of the year will be a deleted Kuwait raid stream. Yay! <laughs> ah, Monsieur Mike. Hey, Monsieur Mike. Merci beaucoup pour super chat. Bonne année à vous. Can't stand this anymore. Same Z's. <laughs> Same Z's. I hate it so much. It's funny that on the first day of the year, we're jumping into Chantal when I, you know, I had said we're going to be doing less Chantal. Uh, but a rager is a rager and I'm here for a rager where she's going to make an absolute fool of herself. And we got that little soundbite forever. I'm the star of your world. Ah, I'm here for it. And then we can go back to ignoring her boring ass until she does some other ridiculous shit. All right. Let me get the tab. This is going to be a long one. I hope you got drinks and snacks, y'all. Hold on.
Oh, and before we get into it, I didn't get this. I, I was streaming and then out last night. Uh, thank you, Kiwi Farms. I found the deleted live streams on Kiwi Farms this morning. So thank you so much. Oh, Izzy, go away. Shut up. Get out of here. Bye. I'm not moving your crap. <laughs> Stooping to their level. Excuse me? Excuse me? I can't possibly stoop to their level. Literally, whenever you defend yourself, that's not stooping to people's level, okay? Learn the difference. People have outrage over how I act, but not anyone else. This rules for thee and not for me crap has to stop, okay? Yes. Thank you. I'm gonna get some moderators. Oh, she's mad. Oh, she's mad, mad. My bed is not made. Hi, Jada. This was a point brought up on Twitter this morning. Notice that she just said, my bed is not made. She's going to repeat that a few times in this stream. If you were a new, like a newlywed, a newly married person, wouldn't you refer to the bed as our bed? Since everything else that she said is our this and my husband and our, you know what I mean? She's obsessed with the whole idea of it. But a few times in the stream, she's going to call it my bed. Bloop. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Keep, well, oh God, keep an ear out for when she's going to say she wants to adopt a cheap kid. Uh, no, damn it. Okay, ears are perked. Vinegar. Lisa P. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Fatima. How are you? Golden girl. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Chrissy, Fion, just Janelle, Anna, Tangerine, Karen. Um, no, and if you don't shut up, empath, I'm gonna block you. Gemini Gem. Oh, oh, she just said Anna. I wonder if she was talking to that Anna Nicole. I don't know, I don't have the chat, but <clears throat> Anna Nicole just reminded me of something that I wanted to tell everybody this morning. Um, lesson to everybody, just a little life lesson, okay? If you want to be a troll on the internet, making enemies left and right, and accusing people of murdering dogs and shit. Make sure that before you start trolling on an account, you start a fresh, clean account that never had your fucking name attached to it. Isn't that right, Anna Nicole and everybody else? <clears throat> Jennifer Lynn, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm so glad they got home safe. I'm sick of just taking stuff. My little uh, New Year's resolution to myself this year is um, don't just keep turning the other cheek. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, because hi, Sanctuary, I, I was going to do like an open stream just on Fridays and I missed it yesterday. I didn't get to, so I was just like too busy. So, and then all day today we were busy. So, hi, Faiza, happy new year. Sarah, hello. Lisa, this is the thing, fireworks. Most of my audience doesn't know who these irrelevant people are. So why am I wasting my energy, right? But I'm bringing up a few points. Hi, Sandra. Rose, happy new year. Long time no see, Sandra. Mars. Hey, salam, little Teddy new new. Hey, sis. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Football bird. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Anna is not Missy. Anna is her own lunatic entity. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm on a seven day Twitter ban. I'm in Twitter jail for seven days. So I'm obviously not posting up on my normal account. Um, at FFGoral2. Okay. If you, if you want to see what I'm talking about, about Anna Nicole. <laughs> and I'll be back to my regular account. I think I got five more fucking days of this shit. Okay, Brooke Richardson. Hello, Brandy. Hi, Jen. Lorax. I'm great. Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Thank God. Board Panda. Single piece of garlic bread. Cherry. I'll get to that in a minute. You guys really don't know who this guy is. Oh, <laughs> that says a lot. Hey, Lime Jello. Are you like me today, Lime Jello, or what? This is my first time in your life. <laughs> Sarah. Happy New Year. How come you are always up late by yourself? I'm not up by myself, but uh, people have different sleep patterns. Usually Salah passes out. Yeah, exactly. Ori, thank you for the super chat and the tea. I, I saw a screenshot on Twitter about a comment, a disgusting comment she had made about hillbillies and like, and then yeah, she got timed out and that's all it takes. How dare you block the star of girl world? Before me, <laughs> but he's playing his game right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going live right now. I wasn't planning on it like right away, but I'm okay, Ru Rudy. 
Ronnie D, thank you for the super sticker. Hi, Vixen. Freedom Derp. Hello. I was going to talk about 2023, but maybe in a bit. Hi, J Dot. I'm on garlic bread now. Hello. Hi, Repenna. Don't mind my background. I have some like cushions and the prayer rug, and my bed's not made. I'm just like, I did all my laundry though. Like, well, I haven't, if you hear the washer, it's like really, it goes through a weird cycle. Like, <laughs> so you might hear the spinning and everything. Um, you love the new cage for Harry? Oh my God, what a crazy thought. There's a spin cycle on a washing machine. The washing machines in the Middle East just aren't like the washing machines in the Western world. Have you ever ran a wash before? Spin cycle is supposed to happen, ma'am. Two hours left. Ichabod, hello. Is it breaking up for anyone else? Is it okay? Oh, you know why? Okay, hold on. I got to get the router. Because it's like, it's, <laughs> it's on this. Hold on. Okay, okay, she's gone. Let's examine. Hold on. NASA, enhance. In my opinion, that's a dub, uh, like a single bed. That's a single bed in the corner. We know the perspective of that window because when she did the little tour the other day, we know that to the right-hand side of what we can see is the TV thing. And then there was the start of that bed, right? Okay. So now we see that her phone is sort of after the bed on what, maybe a little nightstand, maybe a little, who the fuck cares, but you can almost tell the like the depth of that bed. And to me, that's a twin bed. That's not even a double. That's like a tiny bed in the corner. Just saying, that's what it looks like. Seriously confused. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. Hey, hi. Okay, Missy. Um, Tracy, hi, everybody. Two beds. Two beds where? You knew nothing, but except for being blocked. There's one bed. What are you talking about? I know you people really, 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 really want to find little hints or something that my husband doesn't love me or something because you're weird. But like, I don't know, unless we're boning 24 hours a day online, it's like... <laughs> I, I, no, you know what? I think it's kind of weird to be keeping up a charade while you're sitting next to a twin bed that we can fucking see that you and your husband are so in love. You're sleeping together on a twin bed. As if anyone, Chantal, you wouldn't be comfortable alone on a twin bed. Maybe that's part of why you're such a miserable biatch on your fake honeymoon, but um, you're certainly not sleeping on a twin bed with anybody. Let's be real. Look at her sitting right in front of that bed. You can see the edge of the bed again to the like right hand bottom corner of the screen right now. Use your own perspective. You can, I mean, we have fucking eyes. The edge of that bed to the window. She's sitting there. It's not up against her ass. And even if it was, that's a fucking twin bed. What the fuck? Come on. She, she takes everybody for stupid. Why did you fucking stream in that room? We would have never had this perspective on your tiny little child mattress. Oh my God. And then even then it would be, he's faking it. No, every single act of love he's ever shown me online has been very genuine and it's obvious. Okay. No, it's not. And who calls it an act of love? Any act of love he has shown to me online? Like we're not the cops. Why are you talking to us like this? Because it's fake. Obviously it's fucking weird and fake. Casey Scapes, thank you so much for the super chat. It's not defending yourself when you accuse a mother of charmuthing her 10-year-old daughter to a grown man. I can't stand her. Well said. Absolutely not. What kind of a pig would say that that's defending herself? It's the same way I've been saying, like the other day when she came out and within 20 seconds accused me of murder. This woman doesn't know how to formulate an argument. This woman doesn't know how to debate. She doesn't have the spirit of debate at all, right? She only knows how to go instantaneously to the lowest blow possible. But we're not allowed to do that because then she threatens to take down our channels. If you want to play dirty blow for dirty blow, Chantal, take your hand off the report button and let us fucking get dirty too. <laughs> you can't stand it. Trust me. Trust me. This, this, this that's driving you nuts and I'm living rent free in your fucking head for all this time now. This is me with a fucking white glove on. You could never handle me if I went as low as you. So, happy new year. Honestly... I have a lot of plans for the new year. This year is going to be crazy. First plane cheeseburgers. She she uh, effed off the conspiracies. Hey, Spinster. Uh, no, I don't like Avatar. 
Sal is obsessed with you. It's always been about you flipping Ace Ventura. Mr. Mike, je dirais, elle a la face que seulement une mère pourrait aimer, mais pas pour elle, parce qu'on sait qu'elle euh, était abandonnée avec la grand-mère. So, I'm just going to say that in French, because I don't, is that breaking TOS? I don't fucking know. Should I just say it in English? I don't fucking care. That's it. 2023. Fuck around and find out. I would say she has the face that only a mother could love, but since she abandoned her with the grandmother, that's not true in her case. Bloop. Sarbamba, thank you for the super chat. When he talks to me. Yeah, Missy. Don't even listen to the hey Dangleberry. Speaking of Dingleberry, <laughs> stop please stop paying attention to the nasty two percent. I think it's more than two percent, but yeah, I have to eventually. So, anyways, I'm literally in this chat of this like guy. I don't even want to say his name now because most people don't even know who he is. Um, salam, salam. <laughs> Funny, right? She loved saying your mama's name over and over when your mama was like on her side and coming for her enemies. But now that there's been shit tonight and your mama's there, I don't even want to say his name since most people don't know him. Yeah, you're right. Most people don't know him. Most people don't want to know. Mm. <laughs> mm, just saying, just saying. But that's neither here nor there. You are such a coward and you pick allies like I don't know. People pick fruit. You are such a no. I. You know what? That's not even true. I put way more thought into picking a fucking mango than this dumb idiot puts into picking fucking allies online. Why <laughs> like lyric? Hey, welcome. Um, why are why am I getting hate for liking DC Media Girl? Like, wh why is she any less than any of these other people? Seriously. Excuse me. Excuse me. Maybe because she was one of us until she had her fucking midlife crisis when the second husband left her dumbass and she ended up with the likes of an addict-dwelling, free-loading, parasitic, deadbeat, loser leech on society. Yeah, that's right. She was a fucking hater. Not only a hater, she was one of the leaders of Hater Nation. <clears throat> what happened, Chantal? I don't care about old beef. All I care about is how she treats me. And I've never seen her. Did she just call DC old beef? Ah, I'm kidding, but it fits. Treat really bad people, uh, people really bad. You know who I've seen treat people really bad? All the other reaction channels. They're disgusting. At least DC has informative. She can talk intelligently and make up points and things like, are you kidding? She's been doing nothing but screaming the C word at the computer for the better part of a year now. Is that an intelligent woman? Would an intelligent woman have let it all fucking go because of a midlife crisis to team up with an addict-dwelling loser? Would an intelligent woman have those fucking hair extensions in? I don't fucking think so, Chantal. And would an intelligent woman who does no harm be ushering in a convicted pedo right now to the community? I don't think so. So just because they're willing to lick your ass to benefit them for right now, because they'll turn on you again, and you know it, Chantal. We all fucking know it. Um, again, that whole the 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 enemy. No, wait, the friend of my enemy. Tabachnak. I always forget how that shit goes, but the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? That shit is bullshit. Don't ever go with that, because then you end up coming off like fucking Chantal is right now in this unholy alliance. Hello, Stina. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Ew. Anyways. Your mama literally like goes after my reaction channels, okay? And I thought he was funny, you know? But then he ha he has these moderators in his chat who everyone can attack me in his chat and make fun of my infertility, make fun of my husband saying he's gay, um, which is freaking, these people have the mentality of like two-year-olds, I swear. Even two-year-olds, don't insult a two-year-old. Just don't, okay? These people are beyond toddler. And they call me a toddler. Do you see how that works? And then I'm like, literally, without me in this community, none of you would have any effing content. Nobody would care. Nobody cares about any of these people. Like, nobody cares about the lives of FFG, Yaba, like, to a certain point. Nobody cares. So you're really going to block the star of Boar World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are ah, I love it. You're really going to block the star of Girl World? Did anyone block Amberlynn last night? Nobody blocked Amberlynn last night. The fuck are you talking about, has been? Go and sit down and eat your fucking baba ganoush. Oh, wait, you can't eat the baba ganoush anymore. Bloopity bloop. Just go play a fake husband with your fake fucking husband and your fake fucking marriage, okay? Order your fucking weird food in the middle of the night while you're 
whatever sits in the other room doing whatever. <clears throat> Happy New Year's. Happy Newlyweds. Are you serious? Are you serious? It is ridiculous. I'm a toddler, really? For defending myself? Okay. Yeah, I come in fiery. I'm allowed to give my opinion just like everyone else. At the end of the day, they need someone to talk about. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. And then you have the nerve to like block me for defending myself. Are you serious? Okay, man, and how the harassment. When you get time, please check out the community I'm in and how the harassment I have endured. I've had CPS and police. These are all low-life bottom of the barrel people. And this is who you want having your chat. And you let them block me? Like, really? Without like, are you kidding? Like, I don't want to toot my own horn, but let's be real. Let's be real. You have nothing. Like, again, do I have to point out that FFG has no views with in her own blogs? No, none of these people. I'm not playing this fuck. It's a whole new year. We're not keeping these same arguments. I've never done a vlog. If I ever did a fucking vlog, it would do better than any vlog you've ever done, Chantal. We all know whatever I do, it'll be more entertaining than anything you can do. You don't think anything you can do, I can do funner. I can do anything better than fuck you. <laughs> How's that? I liked it. I cuddle cats. Thank you for the super chat, girl. That's so nice of you to say happy new year to you too. Yeah, I know I said the song wrong. I did it wrong on purpose. Oh, I have a headache. I'm not, we're not talking about this fucking vlog bullshit again. And the irony of her spewing this last night, again, we were live at the same time last night. Same time, okay? There were more people in our live watching Doherty Dozen and talking about cheese like we always do than we're watching this fucking rage stream from Kuwait. Chantal, when are you going to admit that you've been using me and Yabba's names now for views for quite a few days? Quite a few days. Do you think no one can tell? Do you really think no one can tell? You're doing anything to drum up the drama and you're doing it with the two biggest, like, well, biggest, like, popular reaction channels. We fucking see you. Everybody can see you. Don't try to pretend like, I don't know, you're the queen of Gora World. It's Amber Lynn. You're doing all this for views. Stop pretending like anything revolves around you. We could tank your channel. I, I would go that far as to say that if Yaba and I stopped reacting to Chantal, I don't say that's the end. Like she'll still keep making fucking videos, but no one's going to be watching them. Let's be real. We have kept this shit entertaining ever since Koki came into the picture. And it is what it is. So say thank you. Be a little fucking humble. And I guess you can keep using our names for views, bitch. We'll have anything. And like, when I defend myself against anything and tell people to F off, I'm the bad person. It's ridiculous. And I'm just not even messing with any of these idiots anymore. It's not worth my time. And guess what? At the end of the day, I say what I need to say. And then I go and live my life and do my own content because I have that advantage. I can talk about myself and still pull views, even if it's way less. Who cares? Like, do you think people are watching you for you? No, you're, they're not at all. Do you think anyone's watching you for you or just for the rage and what kind of a fool you'll make of yourself today? No, they're not. <laughs> it is what it is, Chantal. You need to understand. I don't know. You, you think you're some fucking beauty queen that's like, like ravishing, interesting thing in the middle of all of this. Somebody just said in the chat, and it's a good point, Goral, we only even say Goral because of Amber Lynn. You need to understand. I swear to God, I'm getting tempted now. As boring as Amber is, I haven't watched Amber in over a year. I'm getting so tempted to go in and start watching Amber again just out of spite. To spite Chantal. Do you want to fuck up Chantal? We'll watch fucking Amber Lynn. We'll do an Amber Lynn live stream. Yo, you better be here. We can have her going as background noise. We don't even have to talk about Amber Lynn. I don't care. But she will be the thumbnail. She will be the video playing. And we can sit here fucking talking about cheese and shit, okay? Let's fuck with her head. 2023. Let's fuck with everybody's fucking head. We're doing an Amber Lynn stream. Let's bring some positivity. Yeah, exactly. No, you can't change other people's behavior. Exactly. But like, why is it not okay to talk about other people's behavior, but it's okay to talk about mine? Is it just not worth my time? I don't get it. It drives me nuts. Yo mama's stupid loser um, moderator blocked me. Because like, seriously. Like, and allows other people to talk crap about me in the worst disgusting way. So when I defend myself, calm down, foodie beauty. So you let your moderate, like, you you have a reaction channel, dude. You're messy as fuck. You have a reaction channel and you you mod people who have a beef against me, somebody that you're talking about or at least talking about per reactors. Really? 
are you kidding me? I'll, the only people I came for in your chat were people who were coming for me. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even going there anymore. Chantal, you're so dumb. I mean, whether or not you like or listen to Yo Mama, I think we can all agree on why this guy is just like suddenly plunked himself down into our little community, right? He stuck his nose in with the garlic bread thing. And while his nose was in the community, hey, hey he looked around and he saw the money making potential here. Like we have a very involved little niche of a community and he wants to stick around for a little bit of coin and a little bit of attention. We all can see that. You're the only one who can't see that. And you know what gets more, not like attention, but like, um, what would you call it? Like engagement, hating on you, critiquing you. Look at the ones who lick your ass. Look at what goes on or doesn't go on over on their channels. He's there for the money. <laughs> Don't fucking flatter yourself, Chantal. Come on. Hello, Stina. Thank you for the super chat. I'm guessing this is about uh, to my seven-day Twitter ban. Uh, I told D. Higgins exactly what I thought of D. Higgins. For anyone who doesn't know who D. Higgins is, uh, former friend, former, former girl gang member, right? Uh, DC's biggest ass-licking bank-rolling enabler. Um, there, something happened last year where Hussey was harassing D Higgins. Okay. Telephone. Allegedly. This is allegedly. Cause you know what? That came from D Higgins and D Higgins has shown her fucking ass. So I don't believe a goddamn word that was ever uttered by D Higgins. I'm just going to say that, but allegedly Hussey was harassing D Higgins last year and everybody in the community really like supported D Higgins through all that. Me too, with the kind messages to her all the time, and just checking in, making sure she was okay and stuff. What does she do this year? Turn around, bank rolling, and enabling and encouraging Negs and Granny. <laughs> There's a reason why you know terrorists don't just get like sanctions; they also put sanctions on the nations that fund terrorism. Okay, D Higgins. So anyway, uh, I went a little fucking popping off on D Higgins and I got a seven day ban and it was worth it. No regrets. That's BS. It's like a, it's a freaking bully gang. It's a freaking high school gang. That's all it is. People who are stunted in mentality and, and maturity and cannot like, I don't know. They just, this is why I like DC. She, she can have an actual debate and argument. I would like to see her debate any of these idiots any day of the Actually. Actually, DC really proved this week that she cannot have a debate. You know why? After egging on Yabba and Sam to go on panel, go on panel, go on panel. Yabba and Sam turned around and went, okay, we'll come on panel. And Granny and Attic Dweller fucking cowered away like the little bitch duo that they are. They chickened the fuck out. They canceled the whole panel. She announced that she was taking a vacation from the podcast, came live the next day anyway, but they didn't have the balls to panel up with Yabba and Sam because they knew that Yabba and Sam would eat them the fuck up. So don't sit there now, Chantal, saying that, oh, she can debate. She can. She's a fucking puss. Just like the other little bitch living in the attic. The week. Hell, I would do it. Like, these people are dumb. And then Sarah Jane comes in and she's like, talking about some stupid thing that I'm like sexualizing a child. Why do people all go up for that right away? You're sexualizing a child. No, I said that Breezy was a shit parent for giving her kid away to her dad for the bottle. So what? I'm allowed to have that opinion. She calls me things every day. And she goes after Missy Moo. <laughs> hey, PNV. Poor lady lost her husband when she... Oh, Pissy Moo that docks the creator on the platform or going after you? Who the fuck cares? So people come for you, give arguments about you, have a reaction channel about you, and you're taking low blows about their kids. But then you get all pissy when we point out what a shit mother Smee was. <laughs> Hypocrite. Okay, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Happy New Year. She loved for 50 years. Who are we talking about? Hey, Nora, <laughs> I miss you. Stop fighting with these reaction channels. I know. Hey, Miss ATX, hi. <laughs> what? You're cleaning up the house? Um, I'm raging in, in Kuwait. Like what, doing one live stream talking? This is my job, I get paid to do it. Hello. So what? <laughs> it's like, 1 16 a.m. here. We already did the Happy New Year's mm, BS, okay? And now I get to rage online. Oh, wow. 
Let me ask you, if you were a newlywed and you're spending your first New Year's Eve with your new husband, flash ring, uh, would you call it, we did all that mm, New Year's Eve BS? That sounds to me like there was no mm, at all on New Year's Eve, but we already know that. <laughs> and it sounds to me like that's why your butt hurt. Did you get rejected again tonight? Did he kiss someone else at midnight? Was it the wife or was it Murad? Tell us. Let us know. Let, give me it. Give us the tea. Live if I want to. Actually, I might. I'm hungry. Did he block you? No, one of his moderators. He doesn't like moderate his own chat though. Like, like why do you even have moderators? Like, if you don't look at your chat, why do you have moderators? I don't get it. Like, you have moderators blocking. Like, it's so stupid. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out. Now I can go back to not giving a crap about this person. I never really did anyway. And the irony also of Chantal being butthurt that people are getting blocked on someone's channel when she's the queen of everyone is blocked on her channel. And when she had mods, it was fucking, what's his name? Karate Joe, who had us all blocked on her channel. And she's mad that she's blocked on a channel. Wow. Wow. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat, girl. 2023 is the year of to F with Chinny's head. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's fucking just go all in. If we're going to have to put up with boring ass Kuwait, we're going to do it with a little psychological warfare too. <laughs> but like, I find it ridiculous that you get blocked for defending yourself. It's just stupid. The irony. <laughs> you immature. Okay. You can't even talk. Right. So goodbye. Yeah. I'm immature in some ways, but I'm not immature in life. Okay. Not compared to a lot of people. I'm sorry. Especially these people who just like, low bottom of the barrel i tell people to f off in self-defense sometimes so what i don't care i'm tired of feeling bad about that no she's so mature so mature in real life that's why like fart jokes are kind of like her niche it's maturity y'all meggy k thank you for the super chat girl i'm going to need to get mods since the cult members are going to come gnashing they can come gnashing i'll got my big chubby block finger out <laughs> Just defending her in your own words. Okay, goodbye. If you like Breezy, you can get out of here. <laughs> but she has a problem with her getting blocked. If you like Breezy, you're blocked. Wow. Stand if she's voice for more than five seconds. I can't stand it. It hurts my eardrums. The haters keep me relevant. Really? Well, then make me irrelevant, please, Amanda. Keep me irrelevant. Oh, be careful what you wish for. Oh, girl. <laughs> gonna suck when it happens eh? ella emma frenchie's rage pig thank you so much for the super chat girl happy new year rage pig <laughs> i'm sorry let's see what happens if everyone stops talking about me guess what i'll probably get all my views back guaranteed because you people have nothing else. actually actually the last four days on this platform should have been a pretty good gauge for what's ha what would happen if everyone stopped talking about you chantal because over the last four days, there was no real Chantal content, for example, out of me, out of Yaba, out of a few people. Hmm? <laughs> and what happened? Go and look at Chantal's views for the last four days. She didn't exactly pick up any extra views at all. Like at all. Like at all. But we, we still all got the views on whatever other content we were doing. I did two streams of Doherty Dozen in the last four days, and both of those streams had more people in them than your streams have, I want to say, all month, two months now that you've been in Kuwait. You aren't so needed. You need to start seeing that, Chantal, because we can all see it, and we have been seeing it. Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. Anything else to do? Shut up, Chantal. Why are you in my chat telling me to shut up? You can be blocked and get out of here. No one cares, but you're here. Does that make any sense? You're literally here to tell me that for free. At least I get paid to deal with your crap. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I became a widow last year. I hate people and fucking drama. I know, Danielle, me too. Hi, Hoobie. Like, anyways. Learn to laugh at yourself. Um, I do have a sense of humor about myself. I think that you cannot say that I don't. Please. There's a troll in here called Chantal Sweaty um, um, Dingleberry. I can laugh at myself. But no, there's no, I disagree. You use dingleberry content again to make money. But that's not you laughing at yourself. You being able to laugh at yourself is when someone, let's say in your chat, throws out one of those things that they get blocked for. You can never laugh at yourself. 
but you should because you insist on being the butt of every joke. You, you should be a little better at laughing at yourself, you know. Hey, Hussy, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year. There's certain things that go too far, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, why can't I freaking block people? I'm not whispering. I defeated, I deleted, why did I delete the breezy post? There's still one up there. I deleted the other one because I don't want her staining my channel. Nobody knows who she is. What's the point? <laughs> like literally, I don't want to give her advertisement. It's free advertisement. Like for what? Like she has no content. So why am I going to advertise her channel? I'd rather leave it for somebody else. Because I went through it a couple years when I reverted. Oh, you get like her. Yeah, I know. But it's always like the most ignorant people who do the talking about like, like Islamophobes or whatever, like people that don't have any idea, like anything, any clue, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, again, hard disagree. Uh, you're Islamophobic if you have a problem with what Chantal's doing. I don't know. You can't call me Islamophobic. You just can't. And whoever fucking tries to is an idiot. Uh, I, I stand by what I've said. I've taught, taught more. That sounds condescending. I've, I've spoken more and said more actual true facts about Islam, the Middle East, all of cultures in general on this channel since she's gone to not only Kuwait, but since she was leaving with Koki and whatever. Uh, she's the one who has played into people's ignorance. She's the one who has tried to use these things for shock value, aka when she slaps on the, the niqab and stuff, you know. Chantal, you're, if anything, you're the Islamophobic one. You're the one making a mockery out of people's religion and culture for your content, your shock value, your manipulation of a man, nobody else. So stop pointing that finger outward, okay? It's actually you. Maine, Maine, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year to you. Um, and thank you so much for what you sent me. I, wow, yeah, <laughs> I was so shocked when I opened the box. It took my my breath away. Thank you so, so much. I will treasure that forever. I mostly do that, but sometimes I like to friggin' invent my mind, you know? I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. If people think there is, well, they don't have to watch it, you know? Because Agathon, what's the point of going on panel with Yava? All she's do is gonna do is scream in her hillbilly trailer trash voice. There's no point. There's no point. Like, are you kidding? I think from now, DC Media Girl sucks. Now, why? She, has she done something to me? I'm not BFFs with anybody. It's just like, what? Like, <laughs> she's mature. I like, I like talking to her. She wants attention, I know. No, she's a manipulator. And she's a much uh, smoother talker than you are. And she's playing you. And so is the attic dweller for the second time in a year. You're dumb. But it's funny. When it all blows up in your face, it's going to be funny. For us. Fat apples. Happy New Year, you jackass. I hope you had a good time last night. Hi, MC. <laughs> no, New Year better me. Just because I don't put up with people's crap doesn't make me a bad person. Sorry. How about you go after the people who I have to defend myself again? How about against? How about that? <sighs> yeah. DC was too scared to debate. There's just no point, Agathon. There's no point. All she's going to do is re. She's just going to scream. Like, you cannot bring logic to these people. So there's no point. Like, why would she go on panel and get attacked by all her friggin' like brain dead friggin' zombie herd? Does that make sense to you? <laughs> get a wow, what a chicken! She's, okay, DC is the one who proposed doing the panel. It's not vice versa. It's not like Sam and Yabba were the one harassing them, but panel up, panel up. It was the other way around. And now it's, well, why would she go on that? Well, then why was she asking for like the better part of a year? That's insane. Just insane. Holy shit. Julia Claire Taylor. Hey, girl. Happy New Year. Thank you for the super chat. A life. I just explained that. Look at like this. Like these people are friggin' like five years old, man. Yeah, I am talking about other people being stunted because at least I'm living my life, traveling the world, getting married and being happy. Okay, what do you... Oh, sh I, I go do it. I want to break the computer. Are we breaking the computer on the first day of the year? Should we do it today? That that sentence could do it. I'm traveling the world and getting married and blah, 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 blah. Girl, you were sitting in fucking squalor two months ago. 
You ran off to the other side of the world like a fucking coward instead of facing your problems head on and dealing with it and actually changing. And you're married to someone who is either using you for papers or homosexual. Like, I don't know what to tell you, Chantal. You're not living anybody's dream. We're still laughing at you. You've just given us more to fucking laugh at now. Damn. Jay Dazzle, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy New Year. What are you guys doing? Just criticizing dumb shit that doesn't even exist? Exactly. And you're here, villain. What are you doing on New Year's watching somebody you hate? Literally, I'm making money. What are you doing watching someone you hate? Like a loser. <laughs> Doherty Dozen, another, yeah. See, again, FFG does crap on Doherty Dozen. No one cares what you have to say about them. You get like a quarter or like half the views. Hey, Barbara. I still have more views and more viewers than you. So what does that say about you and your 92,000 dead sub channel? Huh? Bloop? Jealous? Simply a viewer. Thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just because I, like, go live and open my mind and my husband doesn't love me. Right. Okay. First world problems. I'm not ever going to address Yaba or talk about, I don't ever want anything to do with her. Like, there's no point. Like, it's ridiculous. I've said what I have to say, and that's it. Missy can fight her own battles. I'm allowed to support who I want, Naomi. If I want to, like, support Missy, she's been nothing but a supporter to me for, like, five years. Never once has been an asshole to me. So why am I not going to defend her? She's one of my prime beezers. So who cares? I can fight whoever's... One of my prime beezers, some other freak on the fucking internet who doxes people and plays with little dolls and shit. Dabarnak, man. She, where does she even find these people? Honest to God. Nee Marie, wait, fat ex-prostitute? The fuck did I miss here? Uh, thank you for the super chat, question mark. <laughs> hey, yo, my first super chat in 2023. Yay, thanks, girl. I'm loving this sass, my little fruité jambon fromage. Bring it, tabarnak. C'est romantique. That was a more romantic message than Chantal got from her new fucking husband. <laughs> Battles I want to. I can do whatever I want to. Hey, living Laura. She chicken snug it and chicken snug it. She looks shamed him. Who did? Don't tell me breezy. She looks like Robert De Niro and Jay Leno's love child. She looks like a cocker spaniel mated with Jay Leno and she's going to talk about chicken snug it. Please. I can't imagine a mother acting the way Yabba does. Natasha, honestly, if my parents were online attacking people, I would be mortified and probably become a bully myself, just like her mom. And we See, but again, Chantal, I don't think that's a fair comment to make because you have no idea what your mother was actually doing while she pawned you off on the grandmother to go charmooting. So for all we know, she was being a bully online or God only knows what else. I don't think it's fair for you to be saying things like that, Chantal. Hmm? Loving and caring. Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year. We have a right to talk about people's parenting. People have a right to talk about my pet ownership. People have a right to talk about my infertility. I'll talk about whatever I want to. Stay mad. Hey, reading and retail. Does your mama know his mod blocked you? Okay, this is the thing, reading and retail. Why would he make mods that are anti foodie beauty? Like, it's so ridiculous. Like, I don't get it. This is the thing. Like, clearly, they this this dumb mod. Yeah, I told them to f off. I don't care. Don't tell my mods to f off. No. So you're saying. So hold on. She doesn't only have a problem with creators now. She's actually going to make commentary on who people have as mods. Because saying something like, well, he shouldn't have anti uh, foodie beauty mods would be assuming that every creator knows everything about all their mods. Right, Chantal? Ironic considering you had a convicted PDF file as the only mod, the most trusted mod, your timekeeping internet husband, in your words, as the only mod on your channel for a long, long time. Then when you apparently found out all about Karate Joe and what he had been up to, but for all we know, you had already known, who knows, uh, you tried to play it off as like, well, he's done his time. <laughs> and you're going to sit there with a fucking pig face on right now talking about other creators mods okay that's a choice funny girl thank you for the super chat saying that just because you have a, like i have a beef with your mod they're allowed to block me no they were rude to me first telling me to calm down when i was defending myself against people who were rude and like saying the most vile stuff about me and sala like no sorry i don't keep my mouth shut <laughs> you're not gonna tell me what to do i'll just leave i don't care 
No, Julia. Why do you care where Sala is? He's in the living room playing a game. I already said that. He's not glued at my hip every 20, like 24 seven. I guess he doesn't love me, right? If you can block people, why can't he? Monica, because like literally, are you kidding? He didn't block me, his moderator did. And all I did was defend myself. So how does that work? Like, see, people cannot. This name is taken. Thank you so much for the super chat. Happy new year. Like, it's so ridiculous. I already told Chantel not to worry about me. Yeah, Missy Moo hasn't asked me to, to fight her battles at all, you know? It is so hard to sit and read all of the negativity about ourselves. And I bet her husband probably deletes stuff as well. Yeah. Um, New Year's Eve is over. <laughs> We've already done New Year's. It's like 1 19 a.m. here. Same old Chantel. What? Defending? Wow. New Year's is over. We've already done New Year's here. Remember that sentence, by the way. Uh, it'll be relevant later in the stream. Uh, one hour later, she's fucking raging on the internet and the other the, the guy's apparently in the other room playing video games. So romantic. Their, their first New Year's Eve together as a married couple. Nima Reed, fat ex-prostitute. Thank you again for Super Chat. Uh, oh, 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 God, I should have figured. Yeah, <laughs> fucking idiot he is, eh? That's not funny. He's so stupid. But uh, yes, now, now it's making sense to me. Uh, Mini Bits, thank you for the Super Chat, girl myself and not taking crap from people then yeah sorry i don't think that will ever change <laughs> well then leave goodbye i'll help you i abandoned my cats Haley. i think you're an idiot that's what i think where did i abandon my cats i literally left them for two days at a time people bring their cats to pet hotels for months at a time my cats are with a cat sitter who they know and they don't have to leave their house so please sit on it and rotate Thank you. Goodbye. You're blocked. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So what happened? This is the only question in my mind. Did they have a fight or was she rejected? She, did she tr to like try and make a move, try and go for a kiss at midnight? And he was like, the fuck? And he like shoved her off. I'm I'm guessing it's number two. Bria Ciel, thank you for the super chat. Not play, uh, not sure if anyone has brought this up. Playing from the beginning. Chantal knows the other people have... She doesn't... No. She... she the number one rule, like everyone should just know, you don't block Foodie Beauty. How dare you? This guy's supposed to be on my side. How dare you? Katrina, I don't even care if the trash bag talks about me. He has nothing else. He went, Do you guys remember when he was in his barber shop talking to his barber? I get thousands and thousands of views. I get 80,000 views and make $10,000 a month. No, you don't. You know, you don't. You never made over five grand. And that was, I was making your videos for you. You'll never get over 1.5K views because you're an abuser and people hate your guts. And you're probably going to go to jail and you're ugly. Thank you. I insulted the mods, Oki doll, because they were being rude to me first. So I told them to eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you're... Okay, and that's fine. You can tell a mod to eat it, but then what do you think the mod's going to do? Use that fucking wrench and block your dumb ass. Don't be surprised when it happens. Petrina, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year, girl. You're going to tell me to calm down when I'm defending myself against people who are being disgusting and infertility shaming me and then block me? No, sorry. Oh my God. Not sorry at all. Infertility? Don't worry about when I'm hungry. Who cares? <laughs> I'm going to probably order something soon, too. I'm not on a honeymoon, Megan. Oh, yeah, she got rejected. She's going to order food after 1 a.m. on New Year's Eve. Uh-huh. That's the rejection. Always with Chantal. That's a pattern. When you can't get the hole that you want stuffed, you stuff the one that you're in control of in the middle of the night. Go back to every every single time she was rejected by Koki. Same fucking pattern of behavior. She's now just doing it in Kuwait. Oh, hey, Kay, thank you for the super chat, girl. And why don't you like try reaching for something else that is very stale very stale this is disgusting we people are gross <laughs> you live in egypt cool oh mama <laughs> shay mallow can tell it thank you i think i just like i still eat a lot sometimes but it's mm -hmm. all the weight loss update thing mm-hmm did you see I said about Egyptians on Iraqi Turkish? If I want to talk about refugees, please go to her channel. What's the point? You all talk about Chantal 99% of the time. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like people can talk and talk and talk all day and make like whatever they want up about me. And just because I like have an opinion on it or defend myself in not a nice way, 
sorry like what do you want like i'm not gonna hug haters sorry i'm not going to be nice to them i don't care i hate that crap <laughs> kill them with kindness no <laughs> yeah um it's been new year's for like a while here it's like 1 20 a.m i said that's what i said you guys haven't had new year yet though huh um what are you talking about lauren I'm surprised she didn't just tell us you're just jealous because I'm living in the future and you're all still just living in 2022 <laughs> and flash us the ring. Sonia cheekbones. Thank you for the super chat girl. <laughs> you guys are so pathetic. You try. This is what I mean. These people are lowest common denominators. Like I've never seen DC go after someone's fertility or someone's kids or what. Oh, really bitch. Of all the people that she actually took the lowest fucking blows about fertility happens to be my internet bestie just saying. Hmm. Does everyone remember that? Because I have that clip in the archive. I will get that fucking clip. I will show you what I mean. It's from the same stream that she uh, went on about um, irate Alex's MS. Yeah. No, no, no. But she doesn't take those dirty blows at people. Right, Chantel? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Whatever. I've never seen them do these things. You people are sick. Yeah, I'm going to block people for sure. Yes. I'm sorry, but it's a bit different, Bia, and I'm sorry that you can't differentiate that. Or nobody. Ooh, I love that. Our Lady of Perpetual Poutine. Hey, girl. Happy New Year. Best comment of the new year. D. Higgins would clip DC's toenails with her teeth. <laughs> you are so fucking right and that is so gross <laughs> are you and Stella doing anything fun to celebrate the new year we already did um camping do you think Stella should get to be with another woman while you're gone no <laughs> you're an idiot goodbye people's cooking spaghetti nice I love how childless people act as though pets are on the same level as little children abandoned cats you just grow up yeah I know these people, like, honestly, if I had kids, I'd be a way better parent than Breezy. Are you kidding me? I would never give my kids away for a bottle of booze. Sorry. I don't care. There's no excuse. Did your mother give you away to the grandmother to go and fuck around? And wasn't your father an alcoholic when you were born? So technically, and, and your mother wasn't able to trap him the way she wanted to. Technically, didn't your father give you away for a bottle of alcohol? <laughs> While your mother chased after him and left you with a clinically depressed grandmother? Hmm interesting and yeah but i wouldn't sit there squawking and yelling like a hillbilly in my living room while my kids are playing in the background never gonna happen and she's with a girlfriend who literally there's a video of her girlfriend calling her kids unfortunate looking you call my kids ugly i'm not gonna scissor with you the next month are you kidding me oh my god these people i can't they're all trash like this th they put me in this mood why am i even talking about this community they're all trash they've all been trash forever they all have been fighting for the past five years about the same thing i don't know how i got mixed up with that crap but i'm just ignoring everybody from now on anyways i got some news from youtube like i got an email from youtube today i reported a bunch of like videos a while ago like maybe like a couple weeks ago or like a week ago they must be taking their time. They must be busy reviewing things manually because they took down some videos. I don't know which reaction channel it was. It didn't say in the email, but I'd love to find out who they, whose videos they took down. Well, I can confirm that it was not me. Not one video has been taken down. Not a goddamn one. And my Twitch is still there. Uh, we may Twitch later on today. I want to watch that retro react. You know, the one uh, with the pumped up kicks and her getting all fucking drunk and harassing Pete's and shit. Just chilling. Thank you for the super chat. Can we get a room tour? I gave you one in my video. There's not really much to see. We don't really like decorate things. <laughs> I don't really care. Um, hey, Anastasia. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, we did. VI peasant. We celebrated. I was instigating. No, no, no. I wasn't instigating. I was defending myself and you can leave too. I just want to get rid of everybody who's like annoying um we had hey oceana song oh thank you for the super chat happy new year to you girl with like jalapenos on it and it was like charcoal on the um what you would call it fire go listen to ffg range exactly amc thank you happy new year happy new year <laughs> um do i miss canada not really a little bit of course, because negativity wins and people love to bash on others. Exactly, exactly. That's the only thing. 
Um, I hope you come back to Canada soon. We miss you. Well, you can see me here. Why do people say I miss you? If you think that I'm going back to any of the old behaviors from before, that's not going to happen. When I get home, I have plans. I'm only going to be home for like three weeks. So <clears throat> I'll get the fuck out of here. I'm only going to be home for three weeks. See, don't tell the community that your shit's already tanking. This is just going to make it tank even fucking faster. Don't you get that, man? Lie to us. Be like, well, I'm, I'm going to be home for a while. Even if it is only going to be three weeks. Tabarnak, Chantal. This is why people are dipping, man. No one cares. This fucking Kuwait arc sucks. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. I absolutely will. <clears throat> Take your $4.99 and rotate on it. Bloop. I'm going to love the crap out of my pets. Set, Make sure everything is set for when I come back, even more than before. Um, take them to the vets. Um, yeah, and by the way, why is Monty talking about why I should give the hamster back? Like, hey, number one, we have a small apartment, so I'm not going to put a huge aquarium. Where am I going to put it? Give me a break. The hamster's happy with the cage he has. He can he runs up in the tunnels. He runs the tunnel's big enough for him to flip around and he's not gonna get stuck. The bedding is not made of cotton, it's made of wood. And um he loves it. I'm not taking it away from him. Besides which, um yeah, what else was I gonna say? I mean, if we're gonna if you really wanna talk about the fucking pen for the hamster, that it's still too small. You still have the wrong fucking wheel for the thing. And apparently the junk that you put inside is also wrong. And you shouldn't have plastic things for the hamster. I don't know shit about hamsters and shit, but that's just like what I know. Okay. Come on, man. The bedding shouldn't be what made of wood. <laughs> figures. Fucking figures. This idiot. We don't have a big place. So like, where are we going to put it? That place looked pretty fucking big to me. We don't have a big place. Is that because when you leave, he's going back to that weird closet looking ass fucking room? Maybe that's why. Mm. La 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 Lee. Thank you for the super chat. So what else do I have to do? Oh my God, my car. Ew. I'm glad I'm coming back in the winter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm coming back like maybe three weeks after because we have like travel plans, a lot of travel plans and stuff. Oh, fuck so, um, off. You know, living life. How about you try it? <laughs> Sitting um, on a fucking, oh yeah, living life. Sitting on a twin bed while your fake husband plays video games or whatever the fuck he's doing on the internet in the other room. An hour past midnight on New Year's Day. Living my life. <laughs> You're all jealous. Um, pumpkin spice. Do you not remember me taking a picture with my grandma in the hospital? I did not go to trash bags house. I went to trash bags house after I visited my grandma in the hospital. And actually he gave me shit for visiting her so often. And secondly, I was with her when she took her last breath. So shut your lying piece of crap. $5 mouth. Goodbye. You were in a rush to leave every time you live stream the whole thing. We saw what happened. We also saw when you went and spent the night with your mother and your grandmother at your uncle's house and stuff uh, before that hospital visit. You were just in a constant rush to get out of there and go back to Koki. And you were high on cocaine every time you went to the hospital. Don't try and play like you were some fucking bleeding heart martyr at the hospital for your grandmother. It was an inconvenience to you and your crackhead. JJ, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for your money. No one else in my family except my mother and I were at her holding each of her hand when she took her last breath. And I was the one who told her she could go and pass on. So again, trying to manip like emotionally manipulate me or make me sad is not going to work. You can do anything to me. I have thick skin, but I have an anger problem and I hate bullshit. And yes, I do rage and call it out. Sorry, but you don't affect me personally. I'm okay with my grandmother passing. Um, there's nothing you can say. Say what you want. I'm a bad granddaughter. No, 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 no. I was there. Absolutely. <clears throat> That's complete bullshit. Um, I'm not talking trash about people online, Monica. Go, 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 go call the Kuwait authorities again, just like people have done a million times, I'm sure. Go, go. Like, I'm literally defending myself. That's a, There's a difference, okay? If I showed the Kuwait authorities everyone talking about me, I'm sure they would understand. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't think so. You know why? None of us are in Kuwait. Ah! We can say whatever the fuck we want to on the internet. You're the only idiot who's sitting in Kuwait running their big fucking mouth, newlywed. Tanya Smith, thank you for the super chat. Blasphemy. I still make a lot of money with the views I have. I'm not worried. <laughs> Stay mad. Julie, I already, you already asked me that. Goodbye. I don't like dumb people.
I don't care. It never hurts my wallet to block people. I don't give a shit. Hi, Maddie. Hey, Ava. Ham and Beans. Thank you for the super chat. DC did, not Chantal. Getting uh, thought we're loyal or not. Like the Holy Trinity. Like, sorry, but they were just trolls all along. That's clear. They never give a crap about me or my happiness. And I don't care. They're goodbye to old trash. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, right, wow. How long until a uh, fucking pissy moo is called a, a troll? But yeah, but yeah, FFG has a, a man <laughs> and a job. Literally, she goes live, like, right as soon as I go live or something to take my content. So does freaking Monty. So does uh, so many people. And then the Hey, dummy. I was live before. What? No, actually. Was I live before yesterday? No. But the irrelevant. No one was talking about you yesterday. When you're on YouTube, no one's allowed to go on YouTube? That's not how that works. Uh, I haven't sniped you in a long time, Chantal. I mean, a long time. Because it's boring. And I don't like to do it anymore. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, last night, you were live. I was live. No one was talking about you. And that's part of why you were so pissy. Salah's wake up alarm. Thank you for the super chat. They're like, all oh, your views are down. Um, th that mindset is so idiotic. It's like mind boggling. But I don't care. I really don't even care, honestly. Like I do to a point. I think it's wrong and I talk out about it. But beyond that... I'll just have to be patient, I guess. They've already taken some videos down. We'll see. Oh, she's such I an idiot. Stop threatening people. You sound like a fucking idiot. They've sometimes they've taken down some videos and we'll see. You know what else was taken down, right? Your fucking channel this year. I don't know who you think you are that you run YouTube, but you're on much thinner ice than you were willing to admit. And a 400 pound person skating on thin ice, girl, it's only a matter of time before your fat ass comes crashing through. Kaboom. Meat duck. Thank you for the super chat. You're absolutely right. And I still have plenty of money. And so does my husband. So don't worry about it. <laughs> and people who say we live in a cinder block jealous, have, know nothing about the Middle East or the apartments here. Like, seriously, you people are pathetic. And you probably live in a friggin' hovel yourself. Hi, puppy. House shaming. Slow mode. Sally went to get food. No, 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 no. Hey, Tamara, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy New Year. The spin cycle um, on my washer is like super, super loud. Hey, Holly. Tiara, hi. I'm lucky. Hey, Corella, I'm lucky that try not to start up your New Year negatively. Whatever. New Year's symbolic anyway. I have a lot of plans. Um, but I'm not going to make any resolutions. Like, that's just so dumb, honestly. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I don't have to like worry about drama for views. Like I don't have to, like, like I said, I get to just like the minute I want to start being positive again and just do my own content and focus on that. I can do that. I don't have to worry about like, I just want to like not think about these people. They put me in such a bad mood. You know what I mean? It's like mentality. Like, ugh, I hate it. It drives me. I just don't want to think about those people. She keeps repeating that. And then how many of these little rage streams and talking shit about, uh, reaction channels and stuff has she done just in the last week? But I don't even want to think about these people. God, so bitter. Sluggy Buggy, thank you for the super chat. Doubt it. Me nuts. Like, how is someone not allowed to defend themselves? Hey, Olive. You're so funny. I want to see more of that side of you. I mean, I have a funny side, but I also have a grumpy side. I can be a real bitch. <laughs> I can. I for sure can. She says that to us like we don't know. Do you eat oil and vinegar? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Or like lemon juice and honey and um, olive oil. I haven't made myself a salad in forever, though. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have a McDonald's salad right now, but I don't know if McDonald's is open. Do you guys want a McDonald's, please? I have to go convince Sala. I think I made him mad. He's not in chat. Because he doesn't like when I go live and address idiots. This is why you never see him talk about trash bag. He doesn't care. He says he's under his feet and he doesn't give a shit. And he said if he sees him in Canada, it's done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah somebody who had actually been in a physically abusive relationship wouldn't get so giddy at the thought of two men beating the crap out of each other uh and here's another thing if salad and the crackhead are gonna throw down every fucking penny that i have to my name is on that crackhead koki can fuck it up let's just be real skinny motherfucker versus another skinny motherfucker but one of them literally has shanked people, whooped the shit out of people, and gone to jail. 
The other has dainty little fingers that look like they've never lifted anything in their lives. All of my money is on Koki. Oh my God, this delusional fucking. <laughs> oh, shut up, please. Gwen, thank you for the super chat. And I hope he beats up Roman too. Or, or Miss Keen, Smeagol. Okay, nobody better listen. Nobody better listen. Because QZ, he let his stupid mod block me for defending myself against people who were like being disgusting. Like, I'm sorry, but I find it stupid that you have moderators who are partial, who are um, not objective, you know? Like, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm over it. I don't care. <clears throat> okay. Oh my God, I hate these comments. Aren't you supposed to be celebrating with your husband? Dude, it's 1.30 here. All day we celebrated. All day. Oh my God. I have to work. This is work for me. Oh my God. I have to work at one o'clock in the morning on New Year's. I have to work. This is work for me. We celebrated all day. She was alone all day. <laughs> she made a move at midnight for a kiss. He pushed her the fuck out. And it was like, are you insane? And now he's pissed and playing video games. Video games, air quotes. Ma'am, I need to work. <laughs> Girl, I love this. The, the only funny thing about Kuwait, because this whole arc sucks so bad, is the fact that her blue balls are like getting so big, you can almost feel them pulsating through the screen. I'm living. The R-Man, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my God, I'm so behind. Ah. Uh. Far from jaded. Loyalty Beezer. Amber and I wish you a happy new year. We're sad that you don't like us anymore, but we're hopeful for reconciliation in 2023. Feline and Bambi. What? Who says I don't like you? Ready, start, BBs. Thanks for being a loyal Beezer. Why would I not like you? I don't even understand that. How do you feel about the haters keeping you from going hungry? <laughs> yeah, right. Please. I keep them from going hungry. I pay a lot of mortgages, I'm sure. No, not mortgages. I think um, a lot of rent. Do we have any New Year's resolutions? <laughs> Yes, plus the crackheads rent for the past year and a half. And now God only knows, maybe you're paying this guy's rent too. Who knows? Who knows? Emotional support muffin. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. You, you oh, you got blocked too? Bloop. Another one bites the dust. I'm so behind. Tyler, hi. It's not okay when you're blocked. You're blocking valid questions left and right. No, I'm blocking hate. I'm pretty sure the Kuwait government has much more important things to do than YouTube drama. They probably don't need, like, what? Can I train the new hands? Yeah, okay. They probably do have a lot more important things to do than YouTube drama. But the fact that you, a foreigner, are causing this YouTube drama while living with somebody who doesn't have status in the country, like a non-Kuwaiti, ooh, you should be careful. Espresso Depresso, thank you for the super chat. Imagine, okay, we need to do a parody of, um, someone needs to do a parody of Tea and Dust calling Kuwait authorities. <laughs> I have no idea how that would work. Honestly, I, I don't. I'm sure she could get another one, but I don't know, like, what's the delay? Or maybe that's the whole point of her coming back. She has to come back to get it, but then can go right back. I don't know. Or maybe that's, like, why she's saying we're going to, we're planning a lot of travel. Who knows? That's on the other end from UK and her. Yes, um. I'm just, uh, I don't even know how to do her voice. I want to report someone who's absolutely disgusting residing in your country. Oh, she looks like a decaying bulldog. <laughs> she literally threatened Saudi Arabian friggin' gangsters on me. They're probably not even alive anymore. Oh my god, Gia, can we train the hamster to get a soda from the fridge? Yes. Why does my bio look big now? Stop poor shaming. No. Come on. <laughs> oh, but people are allowed to freaking poor shame my apartment? Too bad. Anyways, hillbilly. Oh, fuck yes. I'm going to always poor shame that fucking apartment. You're living in a cell. And it's a slightly better cell than the first cell we had seen. But, you know, Motel 6 has a lot of opinions on that fucking dump that you're living in. Seriously confused. Thank you for the super chat. It's not a poor thing. You can be a hill. I think it's a mindset. I keep hearing airplanes. <laughs> My washer has has a the motor of a jet. I swear, when it goes in spin cycle, it's like. <laughs> Hello, Ariel G has a channel. 
Okay, I'm just making sure your profile picture is like PG. Oh, sorry, Gary, I'm filtered. Happy New Year. I'm sorry, I'm so friggin' behind on the chat as always. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. Also, I too, I'm sure I had a dingleberry. <laughs> Speaking of dingleberries, all of these people are dingleberries, okay? That's what they are. <laughs> it's my watcher. I did friggin', I'm on my third load. But the irony of a woman who can't reach to clean her own ass calling someone else a dingleberry. Mm -hmm. Colossal Raptor, thank you for the super chat. Um, most of those he just it feels like 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 polyester. Mm. Getting some things from Torrid when I get back. My hypocrisy, are you sure that you're not fully aware of everyone else's? That's what I'm raging about. Can we see Harry? Yeah. Boring. Well, okay, go away. Oh my god, one, two, three, four viewers. I just noticed that. That's a creepy number. Ariel, I don't think anyone cares that you're live. I'm new here, but why do you get so much hate? I don't know. I think people are legit, like, just jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Stop you taking Amber's judgment. thing, that fucking hand under the chin. That's not yours either, girl. Yeah. So it's called revert or is it convert? What's the difference? <laughs> and no, God would not want me to be raging at my haters. Because I saw a quote from, like... Shouldn't you kind of know what that is since you're apparently not through the process, but like going to fucking convert? Shouldn't you know about reverting, Chantel? S.E., thank you for the super chat. Although that was like, Allah will like, um, like secure you a place in heaven or something if you like stop an argument, stop arguing, even if you're like not wrong. Did I say that right? And it's, I, I don't care. It's hard to do. It's so hard to do. So I guess I have to practice at that. You have every right to clap back to the haters. Thanks, Rose. You're another one who's been a supporter for a long time. <clears throat> Ew, goodbye. Go get a brain. What kind of comment is that? Does it smell like corn and guns? <laughs> Go ask Gala. She has one. And so does FFG. She has a pelican pouch. Go ask her. What the fuck Stay does my pelican pouch have to do with the fact that you smell like fucking blue cheese and corn? Ma'am, stop projecting. You said it yourself. My pelican, whatever the fuck, pouch smells like gain apple mango tango. Okay. You smell like sweat and blue cheese. Damn it, girl. Stop projecting your weird shit onto everybody. Mafia man, thank you for the super chat. I will. Everyone else should stay mad. Do you live in Saudi Arabia? No, I live in Canada, but I'm in Kuwait right now. Hello, Mr. Snowflake. How are you? You see Ray Orbison say not that long. Yeah, I did. So what? Like, <laughs> people can't make up and be mature eventually. MFW is going to kick Breezy's booze and ass. MFW is a boozer too, though, Mama Ray. <laughs> I think Breezy's at least been sober. I don't know. I don't like MFW because she's Islamophobic and she's racist. And I can't, like, I don't like people, like, nasty like her. I don't like that. I don't like the energy. Like talking to her meaning you're in communication with her yeah i talked to the dc on instagram so what why am i getting hate for liking somebody what is what what is wrong with humanity like i'm allowed to like who i like you guys are like i talked to dc on instagram it's interesting though right because i was such a cow tipper when i had reached out to chantal about the fact that the guy she was with had you know gone to jail for stabbing his ex-girlfriend i was a cow tipper dc had a big problem with what i had done it's amazing rules for thee but not for me Frenchie's wrong tab. Thank you for the super chat. But to like who you like, I'm allowed to like who I like. You know. Oh, message deleted by the Google moderator team. <laughs> I'm committing crimes for slander. I'm not committing crimes about uh, slander against another Kuwaiti Pokemon. So no, I'm allowed to defend myself against these people. And actually, it's not slander. It's things that I'm using these people's words against them. I'm pointing out hypocrisies, and people don't like it. <clears throat> DC's a gun? What does that mean, Sandra? Breezy can't handle what she does to you. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, you had a hamster named Sam? Missy was right. I missed the opportunity to call him Gus Gus. That's as stupid as Pissy Moo would say. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Hillbillies don't have a drain in the kitchen. What is a hillbilly anyways? Oh, and for those of you who were saying I was racist for saying buckwheat, it was literally suggested on the most cutest hamster names when I was looking it up. So please, why do people reach so hard? Can't you hate on someone else like who actually has things to hate on?
Why do people reach so hard to call people racist? I don't know. Why did you reach so call, oh, so hard to call me a racist when I call salad salad, you friggin' lunatic? Again, rules for thee, not for me. Seattle Sapphires, low carb world. Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year. What did you miss? Uh, a little bit of rage at the beginning. She's just on and off raging at reaction channels. Instead of like Gary, that freaking hillbilly guy or the freaking inbreeder guy, Gary, was focusing on the indentation on my sofa. Like, are you serious? Like, do you not have a life or what? <laughs> like, um, hope you're happy. Nice to catch a live. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, usually I'm happy. Right now, not really. I mean, generally, but not with the online world. Thanks. Oh, okay. I got to catch up on my chat. Okay, dream. You're making food. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> um, you know, goodbye. I hate the word guys. There are certain words that are going to get you blocked. Guys, Goral, go away. But you just saw yourself the star of Goral World. How could Goral get on your nerves so deeply? That doesn't even make sense. Foxy Media, thank you for the super chat. Get wholesome and have children. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to... Um, spend all my time online like dissecting what people are saying about me like excuse me this is you trying to get wholesome you think you're going to become wholesome and have children <laughs> who the fuck would give you a child for real for real oh my god wistful demon thank you for the super chat happy new year sorry it's not going to happen Thanks, Mama. <laughs> so, what are you? Um, don't listen to me. I'm being a bad Muslim right now. Having anything special for? Oh, so she's time. Muslim now. How are you being a bad Muslim if you haven't fully converted? So she's converted. Is that what she just let us know? I'm being a bad Muslim right now. God, look at that rat face. She just disgusts me, just with every fiber of my being. You're so gross, Trump doll. In every way that a human being can be gross, you're fucking gross. And Salad, you are the most desperate loser that walks the face of this planet. <laughs> you know, Salad, you didn't literally have to jump on the first thing you found that could bring you to Canada. Had you spent maybe one extra day perusing the Tinder, you might have found someone who doesn't stink so badly like blue cheese. I have to go. I only have to ask because he pays for it. <laughs> I can't use my money here. I don't know how. It's like weird. Dreamy Dormhouse, thank you for the super chat. I think. I think. Darcy, get lost. Thanks, Golden Girl. You are not happy. You are incapable of being happy. Like what? How? <laughs> you went to two places. What are you even talking about? You know, I'm American from Detroit. I'm not a babe. I'm fat. My teeth are screwy. But when I got sober, I gained weight. And my teeth started breaking apart. <clears throat> Don't let people talk about, don't even, these people are beneath you, Lyric. Don't even acknowledge their presence. I'll just block them. Okay, so, damn girl, you ain't getting no Caesar sauce. Oh my God, you just reminded me. Let's get a big tasty in the salad. I don't know if McDonald's is open. I think salad will drive us to McDonald's. Oh my God. Why are you scared of your mama? I'm not scared of your mama. I don't like his chat and I don't like his moderators. I'm the realist, so thanks for all. Happy people don't act like this. Joanna. Oh, hi, Joanna. Thanks for being a Why did she just claim over that? Fucking address it. Happy people don't behave like this. It's fucking true. God damn it. Raging in the middle of the night and needing McDonald's at one something in the morning. It's just, come on. Why can't you just admit that we're right about your fucking fake marriage? Admit that we're right and we can move on. <laughs> Krabby Joe, thank you for the super chat. For loyalty beezers and even people who are sticking around and being a very important user despite financial problems. I really appreciate it. Ready, set, reviews. And I'm not reading. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> People who stick around as a beezer despite having financial difficulties. I appreciate it. What is that? Are you encouraging people to take like $5 out of something else they could have done in the world and give it to you? If you're having financial difficulties, don't be a member on anyone's channel. What in the fuck kind of advice is that? That's the kind of advice that gives you two fucking bankruptcies. That's that kind of advice. Raging at you guys. I'm raging at like just things that bug me. 
Hey, also, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year. Allowing his moderators to block me for defending myself. Make it make sense. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Do they have fireworks shows for the New Year in Kuwait? I think I heard some fireworks. I don't know. Yeah, this trailer has a bigger kitchen. Who cares? She also lives in the United States, not in uh, the Middle East. <clears throat> you live your life how you want, screw everyone else, stay safe. Thank you. Yeah, I try to do that, Mr. Snowflake. Chantal, have you and Tala ever talked about having kids or adopting? Inshallah, yeah. I know I wouldn't rage like this if I had kids, obviously. What? Inshallah, like, by answering that question and the first thing that you say is Inshallah, you're, you're, it implies that you haven't spoke to him yet, but God willing, you will. What the fuck is that? She doesn't understand like how to use that word at all. You should have answered and been like, yes, we have inshallah. Like then it's like, yes, we have. And God willing, we will. But the way that you put that, that the word syntax there, it's saying like, God willing, we will speak about it one day. You fucking idiot. If, you, if you're going to insist on fake adding these Arabic words every once in a while, at least fucking use how, uh, learn how to use them. Hamara. See, that was me throwing in a random Arabic word, but using it properly. <laughs> I really think, like, I even get like this. I think it's because I don't have kids right now that I, like, I'm so protective over Harry. Like, I treat him like a child. I, like... If that were true, how come you're not protective over the cats? You don't take care of the cats. Oh, is it because your dipshit non-husband is sitting in the other room and you're trying to play some fucking Middle Eastern wifey? Girl, you don't give a fuck about animals or anything else besides yourself, really. Seriously confused? Thank you again for the super chat. Feed him like at specific times and like make sure he has all the nutrients he needs. I give him the mango, a little piece of egg for protein. Um, his grains mix and you know I, I treat him like a little baby i hold him and kiss him and make sure his bedding is nice and comfortable oh my god they put the bedding in their cheeks and they bring it up to their house and they put it and make their, their bed and i do that with my cats like i don't know i just feel different than i did before i never like was with somebody i wanted to have kids with i guess so uh, that's not true at all. You were literally talking about adoption while you were coked out of your mind chasing after a crackhead who didn't want you, liar. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Oh, it wouldn't help. Too little, too late. But I see how good Salah is with children, and he's so, like, supportive and nice, like, um, because I'm so insecure about that, like, oh, well, like, you know, what happens if down the line, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, it's already settled, like, we're going to adopt or whatever. And he's like, and anyway, it's not important to me. Like, it's not important to me. You're more important to me. So we'll see. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Again, we're supposed to believe that this is a practicing Muslim. This guy is so traditional. He expects her constantly in a fucking hijab and a baya. But he's not so practicing or traditional that him at his young age doesn't want to have children. Get the fuck out. Out of here, Chantal. Again, stop talking to everybody in your dumb fuck audience like we're all pissy moo, okay? Some of us are olives and we it. We understand the olive culture and we understand what practicing Muslims uh, aspire to have in their life, are expected to want in their life. Shut up. The most thing, the most important thing is you, because once I have my papers and I marry for love in Canada, I can have as many fucking kids as I want to. We'll see. We'll see. I have a lot of growing to do. I have a lot more self-improvement to do. I have to get more sound financially. <clears throat> Being with a partner who has their own money makes it a lot easier, like at least contributes, you know? God, I'm not having to support a grown child. Oh, far from Janet, I'm sorry. Where's your rebees? Hold on. Oh, no, where's your rebees? Okay, let me catch up with the chat so I can block people. Oh, far from Jaded. No, I said that. Oh, did I? Oh, ready, set, rebees. Okay, what? What What are you talking about? I don't hate you. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna catch up. Joanna. Be like peasant. 17 months. Happy New Year. Beware, DC. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, oh, come really on, shoot you, girl. She's not going to make it 60. Let's be real. To beware. Like, there's nothing wrong with them, but, like, I don't know. 
anyways, like how can they betray me when we're literally not like BFFs or anything? We just, I don't do any, I don't give them anything. I don't like go out of my way. We don't go out of our way to promote each other or anything like that. Interesting. Adorkable nerd. Thank you for the super chat. Apparently it would be impossible for them to actually adopt in Kuwait. Adoption in Kuwait, uh, impossible for foreigners or people without status or whatever. But what I was thinking was maybe they would try to adopt a Syrian orphan. You know, there's been a lot of orphans created because of the civil war happened in, in happening in Syria for the past bunch of years already. Right. Uh, I figure maybe, maybe that is going to be the angle. I don't know. We're not business partners. There's, there's nothing for me to trust. You know, I just had, um, people grow, people change too, you know, like, I just think that they're very logical people. They tr treated me with a lot of respect when I was on their panel. And I think that like Negs and her, they get beat up on for like when people are more vile. Like Yaba literally called his child the R word over and over and people just, oh well, because it's a popularity contest. That's all it is. People do not care about what's actually right. And I- Shut the fuck up. You don't fucking care about what's actually right. You know the whole story. You, you are so deep in this community. You know everything. And you're gonna try and harp on the R word. Come on, shut up. Number one, that's a word in your vocabulary, Chantal. Don't pretend to be so outraged by it. And we know that you know everything that's gone on. You know the stuff that he has done. Don't even fucking try to compare him to anybody else. You are disgusting and you're willing to like cozy up with anything that'll have you as an ally, as a friend, or as a fucker. I like I, anything that will have you no matter how fucking bottom dwelling, bottom feeding, disgusting they are. And yeah, I'm talking about cokey salad, negs, fucking all of them, Christ. I know I seem to team up with the, I'm not teaming up, but this is what people think with people that you would never expect because I don't just team up with someone just for my own benefit. Like I agreed with things. That oh, fucking kill me. That's it. That's it. This bitch. This fucking bitch. Chantal, everything bad that happens to you, everything in your life, in the past and in the future, you have it coming 100%. You're an absolute pig. You are so fucking disgusting. I don't team up with people just because it benefits me. You, you oh, I have no words. No words for you. You idiot. You, just, just an idiot, man. I'm so, thank you for the super chat. Mm, 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 mm. I can't believe she even just said that. The audacity of this bitch to fucking twist her face to have that f come out of her mouth. Just, wow. That they were saying. And yes, of course, they were talking against people that I've been trying to like get people to realize forever. So of course I'm going to have a similar opinion. <laughs> Do you know how much I hate folding clothes and they just all fell on the ground? Breezy keep she calls the cops on people who hurt her feelings. <laughs> I want to work in an administrative office at the police department just so I can tell her to go ahead. <laughs> I'm kidding. Is that glitter detail on your outfit? Oh. Might be dandruff. No, there's no glitter on this one. But I like this this hijab. I don't know. It's cute. It's see-through though, so I have to wear like a whole other hijab under it. <clears throat> That's hilarious. Lucen's responses are hilarious. She can't take it so amusing i mean i guess i feel low whenever i like make fun of her like alcoholic past but it makes me realize with addiction like i think we have to take responsibility it's one of those diseases that you have to there's some diseases you have to take your medication for like diabetes you have to be responsible to treat your diabetes you know i'm not responsible about my health but i don't go and attack people for their their problems when i've been an addict you know i don't go and make videos about people you're talking shit about her alcoholism you were a cocaine addict for like, like months ago. What are you talking about? You don't make videos attacking people about their addictions. You, you, you're doing it right now. Holy fuck. What is wrong with her fucking brain? When I've been an addict, I know what it's like. <clears throat> New Year's bees in. It's, it's done. Barbara Walters passed away, but she was like 105. She was born in 1929. She was 93, I believe. 105, you moron. Hello, Gabby girl. Thank you for the super chat. For a loan. 
Hey, Garlic, maybe you could trade in some of your most prized baseball cards and get her an attorney. Blakewood, welcome to the Hunting and Recipes. The mods over there were being rude. Yes, they were. They were being unfair and rude. Who made 5,000 a month? He made 5,000 a month, I think, like once when I was like, when he first came on and people were curious to know who Dom was and all that stuff. And then he thinks that he has his own personality. Maybe that would have been true if you weren't an abuser. Maybe, maybe people would have supported you. The fact that people still support him is gross. You guys are going to hell. Absolutely going to hell. Well, I don't support him, but I'll see you there anyway, Chantal. Who are you to tell anyone they're going to hell? Do you not know like where you're going? <laughs> Save everybody a seat. You'll be there first. Um, so thank you for the super chat. I think this community is getting a little scary and people are going way too far saying nasty, nasty things. People have been attacking me and Amber Lynn for like five years, using all of our content, fat shaming, just being ableist, just completely like thinking we're lol cows. <laughs> the reactors are bigger than lol cows, trust me. And we just sit there and take it. And then we rage once in a while. Well, I do. She never does really. And you know why she doesn't? I mean, she even does sometimes, but you know why she can control it better than Chantal? Because she's smarter than Chantal and she plays this game better than Chantal and she understands the game better than Chantal. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. You know, you would be better too. dream and search forever. Get out of here. Thanks, magician. Good old fashioned block stream. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Ugh. He'll never respect anybody, Gia. That's the thing, ever. Hello, Gunu. Tell us a good story about you and Sala. Like what? <laughs> Everything is good. Like, what did you do to celebrate New Year's, liar? You know, everyone, everyone gets on everyone's nerves once in a while. But, like, relationships take a lot of work. They do. Oh, they had a fight. Everyone gets on each other's nerves every once in a while. And relationships take work. They do. Relationships definitely don't need work two months in relationships are you're you're in that honeymoon phase i don't mean because you're married but like new relationship two months in nobody should be sick of anybody when it's a real relationship just saying flashy c thank you for the super sticker to make them stable and everything <sighs> i don't care kenny Ugh. probably yaba Mods are Janny's lowest. Mods are Janny's lowest of creatures. <laughs> but by your own logic, there's no reason to interact with these people because they can't be reasoned with. So what's the point? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm triggered. Leave me alone. FOG keeps telling people it's a honeymoon in a gross chat believer. Okay, whatever, Miss Skywheel by yourself. Where's your boyfriend? You should have been on that Skywheel with your boyfriend. You have an imaginary boyfriend. Like you I was on the sky wheel with just saying, what the fuck, man? You should be on the sky wheel with your boyfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. There's other things in life, Chantal, you know? Do you, do you know that? You don't know that. You don't have any friends and you just, you only have a husband for papers. Um, That's crazy. Where's your boyfriend? Be on the sky wheel with your boyfriend. <laughs> Shut up, jealous. <laughs> Magical cannibalist. Thank you for the super chat literally have the nerve what what honeymoon a honeymoon that lasts a month three months you people are dumb like you yes no 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 i'm not dumb you're a fucking idiot okay your honeymoon is the period right after you get married in my mind unless you're like oh you know i don't know we're working so we're gonna go on our honeymoon in a month no you got married you got to kuwait you got married he was on vacation you were on vacation <laughs> That is a honeymoon. You're spending all day with each other. You don't have to vacation somewhere. You can literally be in your apartment in the city you live in just fucking fucking all the time, okay? That is the honeymoon. It's the honeymoon whether you go somewhere or not. Shut your fucking face, Chantal. You don't understand this because you're not actually on a honeymoon because this is a fake marriage of convenience. You just need somewhere to go and rage yourselves. <clears throat> Ew, goodbye, easy sunshine. That name is blocked in here. If you all don't like her, why are you here watching her on New Year's? Does that not show more of what kind of people y'all are? She is on her channel in her own home. <laughs> exactly, right, Lyric? I'm sorry, but like, why, what are you doing on New Year's? Number one, it's 1.30 in the morning and I haven't been live in a couple of days, so I'd like to make some money, thank you. Number two, um, 
we've already had our New Year's. We are like eight hours ahead of you guys. So don't worry about it. Okay, Benjamin, I want a salad right now. Hey guys, she's my wife. I love that. Cindy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy New Year. You made chicken parm geeky banana? Longest honeymoon ever. Every day's a honeymoon. I think just because we don't show online any of like most affection, like I think we do to the limit that Okay, so which one is it? You just said that every day is a honeymoon, but two sentences ago, you were like, a fucking FFG, I'm not on my honeymoon. This isn't a honeymoon. You just said you're on your honeymoon. That barnack, this woman is going to give me an aneurysm. I swear to God, her brain is so fucking fried from the fat and the drugs. She, she doesn't, she doesn't remember two minutes ago. Eh? It's like a fucking mosquito's brain you're working with here for fuck's sake. It's your own words. Stucco gems. Thank you for the super chat girl. We're allowed to. No, I'm not taking the hamster home. I'm only going to be gone for like three weeks or maybe like the most a month. So, oh my gosh, it's going to be my first Ramadan, like actually doing it. So I have to learn like prayer and fasting won't be a problem because you can eat all night and then you just fast all day. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to have any water. Whew. Nope, no water at all. It'll be good for me. It'll be cleansing. I need to release these demons from my black soul. And like friggin' give myself to God. Another interesting point about Ramadan. <laughs> Brace yourself, Chantal. You're supposed to only have positive thoughts during the day. During the day while you're fasting, positive thoughts only. If you let your brain even go to too negative of a place, they consider la journée gâchée. Like like you 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 fucked up the day and you might as well just eat because that day doesn't count. You didn't fast. Keep that in mind. You're going to be so fucking frustrated, Chantal. So fucking frustrated with the no eating. You better not come online and fucking rage because that'll be you not participating in Ramadan. God, and fully like not pay attention to people who are negative. Barbecue chicken was tattletailing me on Twitter. That's a Carrie F. Thank you for the super chat. Like, what is like, what is wrong with people, man? If I when I have kids, I'm disappearing from the internet. Uh, at least live streams for sure. I'm not exposing myself or my children to any of that, and they're not going to see anybody online. And I'm just going to make vlogs. Mm-hmm. Mommy vlogs or something. Oh my god. So my goal. Mommy vlogs. You're gonna make mommy vlogs, girl. You're living in a fucking dream world. Her fantasizing right now over mommy vlogs is as fucking batshit crazy as she was when she came out wearing the Jafar ring, doing the engagement photos alone in Gatineau Park. Hmm? She was as close to marrying the crackhead then as she is to ever having mommy vlogs now. Okay, Same vibe, just without the drugs. Haaz, right? She has no idea. But to be fair, like, I don't blame BB. It seems like BB wasn't practicing. He drank. He smoked a lot of weed and stuff. That's not a practicing Muslim, right? Uh, and probably never taught her about anything because she had no interest in learning. Like, what's the point of explaining it with her? Anything is in one ear and out the other. She didn't give a damn, you know? Always like two years to get myself together. Um, I've calculated that, like financially, everything. And, oh, well, goodbye. What else? What else? I don't know, good ring beans. You should lose it. Hey, Kenneth, how are you? fun memory everything like especially like all the vlogs we did together all the time we spent together the camping is so fun that was a good memory anytime i go camping i love it it makes oh, you feel like you're part of the family a big family you know oh well, my god like for you on new year's like really i know natasha you felt like a big family while all the other women didn't include me and fucking mock the shit out of me in a language i couldn't understand and you were like a big family great memories Nice cock. Let me smell it. <laughs> wow. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> oh my God. Um, holy crap. You're, I'm an olive too. And I'm an olive too was also Edith the pussy. Edith pussy. There's no the in the middle. <laughs> wow, girl. You really come up with the best names. I love it. Now, sidebar. Uh, cocking 
like caulk smells disgusting, like silicone caulking. Has anyone ever had to like use, let's say, gap filler? It's specifically called Alex Plus. I believe it's made by Lepage. It's called Alex Plus. Uh, I'm addicted to that smell. Oh my God, I have a problem with that smell. It smells so good. I could just like huff that shit all day long. If you know, you know. If you don't, you think I'm nuts right now. Like this is my job. Like I have to go live and I get to talk about whatever I want. I don't know. Who am I talking about? <laughs> no, he doesn't want me oh, to. Oh, it smells so good. It's this like, okay, okay. It smells like vinegar and like sweet at the same time. I, I'm disgusting. I know. I, I, God damn it. I love that smell. Oh, I can imagine it in my memory now. My, oh, I used to steal my dad's fucking caulking gun when he had the Alex Plus on it. And then he would be like, I'm the way, <laughs> like screaming at me. <laughs> I was like, huff the Alex Plus. <laughs> I want to lose 50 kg. He doesn't want me to go below 100 kg. Like, you know, he just wants me to be healthy fat. <laughs> because I'm not healthy. You know, I need to lose some weight. The hamster is my, is literally like me. Like Sal is getting annoyed. He's like, let's return it for Mary. Mary, at least we didn't agree on which hamster to keep because Mary is literally super active, right? The Syrian hamster. And Harry, I, I love Harry because he's lazy and chubby and cute, just like me. He's like, why is he still, why is he sleeping still? He should be playing. Oh, sorry, Tyler. 2023 bees. Anyways, we're going to Mount Everest together, inshallah, the base camp um with a tour and it's like it's a 14 day trip he really wants oh my god that's it that's it take me out of here they're going to base camp <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh no uh chantal gets out at the katmandu airport just, just the airport door opens. She's like already so fucked up by the elevation. She passes out. <laughs> what the fuck? Girl, in what stretch of whose imagination are you going to base camp? Are you out of your mind? There are four steps in front of your villa. You huff and puff when you do those four steps. Stop it. Stop it. This is as crazy as the Gatineau photo shoot. Oh my God, Chantal, stop be crazy alone don't be so crazy on live stream bro rumgate pandu thank you for the super chat let's do this it's on his bucket list and i need to get healthy for it i didn't know ollie had multiple organ fairy who tortures a 14 year old dog like that uh i'm so sick of her and her dog than ever we're not doing this in 2023 hmm? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm going to press play and I'm going to say the comment when I'm on mute. Everything. I'm sick of everybody. I don't know. I don't care. And you know what? I just think she's not in any position to talk about someone's past when she doesn't have any anymore. Hi, Karen. The temperature here, it's actually cold today. It's like eight degrees. Well, you don't have any fucking ovaries, but that doesn't stop you from talking about other people's children. <clears throat> okay I think I'm okay oh I broke Joshua Moon's heart oh well magician yeah they found your address oh well bring it <laughs> open my eyes can you address Monty blaming you for your ovarian cyst he's spreading medical misinformation and needs to stop Oh, they're just disgusting. They have nothing else to do. And they're clearly bothered by me retorting back. And then they go low. That's all. You know, is your idiocy your fault, Monty? Yes, it is. I'm embarrassed for any Muslim watching right now. So am I. <laughs> Pathetic. You went to another country to marry someone who wants papers. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 
you are pathetic and desperate. You went to another country to marry a stranger who wanted pa papers. And do you remember while women were reaching out to Koki, there was somebody from another country who was messaging Koki and you went on a whole tirade about how desperate you have to be to be messaging someone in another country. Can't you find a man in your own country? That was Chantal Sereau, 2021, raging about the bitches who were trying to contact her crackhead. Well, 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 haven't those desperation tables turned? Day eh, Chantal, look at you, unable to find anyone willing to touch the blue cheese in Canada, going all the way to Kuwait for some desperate loser who can't figure out his own shit, stuck in Kuwait like a little rat in a cell. Bloop, mainly main. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, I'd be exhausted if I was raging constantly like you. Oh my god. It is exhausting defending yourself all the time. It's not worth it, is it? I didn't go after someone's kids. I went after someone's parenting. What don't you get? Obviously, AC. Nothing. Nothing. Why? Fine, fair. Then we're not coming after your kids from now on. I'm coming after your fucking ovaries. <laughs> Oops, you don't have any. What does my apartment have to do with my attitude, Azera? My apartment is gorgeous. Goodbye. You wish you had it. Your apartment is a fucking windowless cell that looks like a worse than the crack house in in uh, Kuwait in Gatineau did. The walls in the bathroom are crumbling down, and that drain in the bathroom looks like the what athlete's foot would look like if the athlete's foot was a visual. Goodbye. I don't feel like reading your comments too long. I'll block you instead. Because <laughs> people are getting on my nerves, been jamming. Yeah, good okay. point. And she did say, you're right, Ellen, my apartment and not our apartment. Good catch, girl. You can get paid, yes. Actually, it's New Year's. Do I need, does it need to be a specific day for me to rage? Thanks, Aaron. Um, did everyone have a good New Year's? Yeah, it was okay. You didn't bother drinking? And good for you, Tyler. Good. Do you feel better? I didn't drink either. Obviously, it's illegal here. And I wouldn't, I don't, if I was in Canada, I'd probably just do something um, self destructive. Oh, yeah. She would have <laughs> drank and she would have done an edible. We all know. She can sandwich hiding in the girl gang grotto. Thank you for the super chat. Alcohol or, well, I mean, I am poisoning my body with junk food, though, which is how I am also. So I have to work on that. I have to take responsibility for my health because you know what? After all the crying I did all these years, no one's going to do it for me. The world is not fair. It's a cold hearted thing to say, but it's not. You have to be responsible for yourself. So, where's my ready set bees? Blake, what you did? Blake, what too? Welcome to very important bees. There's ready set bees. Okay, I want to go ask if we can get something to eat. I had really good chicken and rice, like the charcoal chicken um, on the fire campfire, but other than that, Hold on. How pathetic. An almost 40-year-old. I have to go ask if we can get something to eat. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat, girl. Okay, hold on. Take this one off. We'll start the next one. This woman is on my nerves today. Let me go ask if we can eat. It's 2 o'clock in the morning and you're sending your whatever he is out to fetch you some food. But no, no, I'm a happily newlywed, and this was our first New Year's sailor. I'm completely fulfilled in every possible way. Um, he doesn't want to go to Canada. That's the thing with people. Like, I don't want to. I don't. I, I didn't want to say anything because it's no one's business, and it's so hard to bite my tongue. But he doesn't want to go to Canada, especially not right now because of his business and everything. And so, it doesn't matter. First of all, you can't, no, you're not going to convince me that he doesn't want to go to Canada. But having the Canadian passport doesn't necessarily mean like, bloop, you pick up and you go to Canada today. You put that citizenship in your back pocket once you've done like your time here. You have to pass a certain amount of days in Canada before you can get the citizenship. You put that in your pocket and now you just have a dual citizenship. Or maybe for him, the only one, because apparently he doesn't get one in Kuwait. So you can stay in Kuwait doing all the things you were doing in Kuwait. But if shit ever hits the fan for you or for whatever reason, you just hop on a plane and you come to Canada. Ding, 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 ding. You know how many people have the citizenship did all of this? I, I personally know 
somebody who went through all this mariage blanc and everything, they live in Morocco. They didn't fucking come, like, they only stayed in Canada the amount of days it took them to get the citizenship and then went right back to their life over there. But they keep that in their pocket as like, you never know. What if, you know, it's a, it's a plus. Um, so thank you for the super chat again, girl. But we have to come back here and then, you know, immigration is a big process. So. Hey, Kitch Breeder. Um, yeah, kiss my ass. Your mom had you to keep your dad and it didn't work. He chose the bottle over you. Yeah, and he's an asshole. <laughs> so what does that have to do with me? You're trying to attack me. What does that have to do with you? That's your fucking life story. So stop projecting your weird, like, parental shit onto everybody else and go to therapy with your mother and work through the shit from your childhood that's clearly still got you all fucked up. Pix, thank you again for the super chat. By, by what? That's not even an insult against me. I'm the child here. I was the child. He was the jerk, not me. Muslims can eat cows. <laughs> yes, they can. It has to be halal. Oh my god, I'm so behind. Okay, hold on. Um, Sam Q, happy new year. Oh my god, thank you, Sam Q, for the super chat. Did I miss a whole bunch of super chats or something? Thank you, Sam Q. Well, thank you. <laughs> happy new year. Um, thank you, man, on OnlyFans. My apartment looks dark and depressing. No, there's a lot of light. There's not many windows, but we have to close the blinds from gawking people, too. We have to, the women are very covered here. Oh, well, I like it. I like feeling protected. Uh, Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. You know, to be honest, I'm not sure if there were minutes missing or anything. This is the copy from Kiwi Farms. Yeah, my hair's growing back. Nice. But I can't talk about my hair. <laughs> it is growing back, yeah. I've been taking these vitamins here. Sugar bear ones. And I think just exercising and like... Oh my god. What else is this contributing? Maybe still talking to us like we're idiots. Yeah, guys, no, I'm taking the fucking sugar bear uh, bullshit pills that have been proven to do fuck all. It's like eating a fucking gummy bear every day and exercising. Can't you see the massive weight loss in two months? Look at all of my exercising, guys. It's visible. Mm. Um, so thank you again for a super chat. Okay, at least you like more than feta. I can respect the others. Mm. You haven't changed your behavior since being employed, though. I get triggered and get angry and defensive. Doesn't mean I haven't changed at all. Like literally, you ignore every other change. Um, what other change? Does any okay, okay, honest question here. Does anyone see any changes in Chantal since she's been to Kuwait besides no edibles? We're ignoring all the other changes. I haven't seen any. She's the exact same person, the same mouth, the same stuffing her face, the same bullshitting the audience, the lies, the the talking about Koki, the raging at the same people she always rages at. Zero change. Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> We're just ignoring all the actual changes. No, they're stupid. I killed my grandma. Yes. He can let go now. I have to see Stabby in an hour. Please, idiots. I'll just see That's grandma. true. Oh my god, I'm so behind. Hold on, I gotta catch up. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? There's, uh, there's nothing you can say to me, kiss my ass, that'll offend me. Good point. <laughs> One change, no more flashing, you're right. I'm not breezy, I don't give a shit. All I get triggered at is stupidity and people be like hypocrisy. People don't see it, so it makes me mad. Other than that, you can call me a cow. You can freaking try to insult me all you want, but it ain't gonna happen. I don't care. <laughs> we all see in the apartment listing. That's the wrong apartment, Marge. <laughs> but you're creepy for looking it up. I love how the trolls pay money to insult your strong woman. Thanks, Melissa. Yes, I am. And I don't feel bad for saying that and admitting it for once. I used to be so down on myself. Like, no. And you know what? In a way, the hate gives me strength. It's helped build a tougher skin. Brooke, I don't know about that. Every time I unblock you, I have to block you again. <laughs> Calling, okay, Nadi, what am I lying about? Somebody tell me what I'm lying about now. We won't go through the whole list, but I think we the glaring one right now is this whole marriage. You're lying about the marriage. You cannot convince anyone that you're telling eh, like one bit of truth. This whole thing is fake. Look at you raging. One o'clock in the morning. Yeah, New Year's Eve. The first New Year's Eve. Think back, everybody. Okay. The, I don't know. If you're married. So like the first New Year's Eve you spent with, or the first holiday really that you spent with your husband or wife or whatever, or a relationship and that first holiday y'all spent together. You tell me the truth. Because I remember. I remember New Year's Eve. <laughs> 
I wouldn't be on live stream at 1 a.m. Hmm? Hmm? I may be going to get a, some fucking water, throw some water on my face and get back to it at 1 a.m. That's about it. Nobody would be raging at 1 a.m. You're not getting any. You're not actually married. That guy is some kind of marriage of convenience. There's nothing going on here, Chantal. Okay. If you want to convince us more, don't do streams like this. All you had to do was stay offline and make people wonder what you were doing in the middle of the night. Hold on, hold on. Tina Taro, happy new year. I'm going to cut you live. Blessings. You too, Tina. <laughs> love you, love you. Hey, little brother. I don't care, Cassie, if they were talking shit. Probably not true, but who cares? Watch my tone and words. Why? I'm so behind. Hold on. Oh my God. I have to block these people. I'm so behind. You know what? I have to put, um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Did everyone leave? Oh my God, my chat's not showing up now. No. I can't see anything. The only thing I can see is Burns My Biscuits and Princess Nella. I can see a living Laura. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Fanny. Bon um, Did you say yes to McDonald's? I don't know. Pickle soup. Um, I, uh, someday, maybe. Hello, that's trip. Oh, God, she's Just... tapering off into the little voice. Is this the end of the rage? They don't have Harvey's here, KK. No, Joe, no. Oh, hi, Tracy. Okay, honestly, like, people, they come and go in my life, always have, always will. Um, I try not to get disappointed or surprised by these things anymore. Does Stella have your password? Annie, why would I answer that? <laughs> Justice for Mary, I can't. Moonlight, oh my god, I missed you. Hey, pretty girl. Happy New Year's. Do people overlook all the BS that's said to Chantal, but take up her reactors who say worse? That's my whole point, dream. Oh my god, that's what drives me nuts. This is why I rage. <laughs> I mean, this is why I allow myself to read, but this is the reason. These are the things that make me upset, you know? Um, it's just hard for all the women out there. <laughs> Honey, hello. Lime Jello, you're the weirdest person ever. You're staying blocked. Like, you're literally the weirdest um, unstable person I've ever had in my chat, I think. One of them. I, I don't know how you... Was it keys to me? Listen, I don't, I don't know if it's keys. I heard something in the other room too. Was it keys? Was it him shifting around? I'm not sure. It could definitely be him coming home. We saw the other night when she was streaming, he came home. He came to wherever the fuck Chantal's staying in the middle of the night too. It could be. It could be, uh, I don't know. He put down something on his desk and he was actually playing games in the other room. Who knows? He's going to make an appearance in the stream a little later on. I'm very curious to see with what eyes he greets us this time. We'll be able to tell. We saw those like <laughs> happy eyes the other day. Let's call them that. We're, we're going to be able to tell what the fuck happened tonight. Was he out? Did he just come home? He gives it away on the face. Are you taking your medication today or what? Who's going to watch Harry? Okay, no matter what, there's always something wrong with my pet care. I don't care. I think I'm a bad pet owner at this point. It's easier for me. Just do it. Yeah, the open chat sucks when it's out of control. I don't understand that. It goes too fast. I can't like address and like, you know, it's just annoying. Oh, excuse me. I was able to change while being there. Happy New Year, Princess Nella. Well, I'm sober. I haven't had any marijuana in forever. I used to be a huge addict of that. Um, I definitely have, I don't, you know, have more self-respect and that I don't like go naked dancing online anymore. Um, there's a lot of like personal changes too, like, well, I'm religious, <laughs> you know, converting to Muslim. I'm learning a lot about Islam and everything. No, I didn't see him on the super chat. What did it say, Tracy? Hold on. No, I didn't because I, I wasn't, um, live, you know? Are you kidding, Cheryl? What did they say that was worse? Goodbye. Oh my God. I cannot believe you can sit through an entire stream of them and not say they don't say anything bad. <laughs> I'm completely new to the whole Man, thing. Man, she's literally blocking people for fucking nothing tonight, eh? But uh, she got blocked. Remember that this whole rage stream started because somebody blocked her. And she has blocked like 100 people so far. Watch every single one of them. Thank you, Olympus. That means a lot. That means a lot. 
um, member for nine months. Loyal TVs are tragic. Hey, thank you, bad boy tragic. Loyal TVs are ready to sing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> See? Um, bad boy tragic knows DC and Nick are not bad people, like everyone says. Why am I? Ah. <laughs> Well, if bad boy tragic says so, the bodega bitch. Uh-huh. Okay. You know why he thinks they're good people, right? Because he's also garbage on their level. You remember almost a year ago, we're going to discuss this later this week and it'll, you know, we'll get back into this, but you, you remember when I, when I, we did the stream calling out how DC was ushering Negs back into the community and DC's reply to the whole stream was, but what about Missy Moo? And what she went through with, not Missy Moo. Oh God. <laughs> what about Missy Ann? What she went through with tragic and everything was tragic and Negs wasn't a bad guy. It was all tragic. You remember? I remember. We all fucking remember. We have the stream. Wow. What a surprise. Wasn't Frenchie right a year ago when she said that Tragic and Negs probably never had a fight and they were doing it to manipulate and split the community to get even more like inside with more people. Well, 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 here we are 11 months later. And you know what? I was right. Negs and Tragic never had a fight. They absolutely pretended to have a fight to branch out and manipulate more people. So DC who sat there with that fucking melty ass jowly face sitting there blaming tragic for everything bad that negs had done and throwing tragic under the bus now sits as allies with him too isn't that convenient but no 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 she wasn't also lying and manipulating from the start no no am i gonna not like them for personal beef they have a someone who attacked their family like what he is Syrian, yeah. Thanks, Tracy. No, I'm probably going to adopt somewhere very cheap. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, there's so many sad... On TikTok, like, I come across so many streams of, like, people in the Middle East who have, like, no families. Um, I think my... Hold on, hold on. I want to go... <laughs> uh, not families. They have, like, no money. They live in tents and things. So I always, like, try to give them likes and, like, some gifts and stuff. Why am I so calm? No, we don't... Oh, my bad. Sorry. I took her off the screen. <laughs> I, got... I just had to light a rig. I get so fucking worked up. Just... Just read what I put on the screen. Okay, I can't read that out loud, but read it, please. Take Zannies, okay? I'm not um, certain someone. The common denominator? Yeah, but not for the reasons you think. <laughs> Go to their Twitters, you'll see how they are. Pretty sure I never called the car a kid an R word or, yeah. Yeah, hamsters will eat each other's babies, yes. Um, no, I didn't get told off. Again, she's pretending to be so outraged about children and children. But if you've read what's on the screen, this is who she's aligning with. Mm -hmm. uh, Nee Marie Fett, ex-prostitute. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Bloop. No, I didn't dream. What did it say? KK Andrews. No, we don't watch trash, so... I would rather watch um, a reaction channel than we would rather watch a reaction channel talk about us for hours than watch him. Like he's not bothered. He's a real man. He doesn't let people below him trigger him like trash bag, goblin fish. Like really? Ew, no. We don't watch them at all. <laughs> We're not them. They probably sit and watch every stream of ours. They have to talk to about us for views and Dee Dee doesn't have a job. So they're really stuck and they have nothing else to talk about. I would hate to be them actually, but that's your karma for being an abusive piece of crap. BBJ Dee Dee doesn't have a job. Your man bitch doesn't seem to have a job. Koki doesn't have a job. You don't have one either. So who are you to throw that stone? Crying over wet food. He just bought $250 worth of wet food. Exactly, Angela. Booty has to pay for club and friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a dime. Read your mama's super chat. I can't see it, Tracy. What does it say? Um... I don't care if nobody's impressed. I'm not trying to impress anybody but myself, Anomaly. You think I'm going to, who are you, Anomaly? I'm going to try to impress you with my life? No. Do I care what you think? You don't know me. <laughs> because it's a really personal thing. So why are you judging for a decision she made years ago? Just drop it. Exactly. People bring up things I did as a teenager. Because like, <laughs> I have nothing else. You murdered your babies, right? Um, I can't wait to see the villain cleaning. No, because I'm responsible. I know I couldn't give them a good life. I can't wait to see the villain cleaning videos. Yes, I have to. I have to. 
Boop. Is that true? They haven't, uh, he, 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 it's true. There hasn't been any vlogs on the couple's channel. How could there be content with him? Well, <laughs> isn't that interesting? And we also have pissed salad looked when the whole Murad thing was brought up in the first place. Eh? Uh-huh. Tracy, I can't see it because I was not, um, I was not on screen when he sent it. Like I was away from my phone. I was doing something else. So it didn't show up. You know what I mean? I can't wait for this to blow up. For what to blow up? You're going to be waiting like till I die. So <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for. It's really sad though that you spend your New Year's or your time waiting for someone to fail, which is not going to happen. So stay mad. Did she give Mary away because she wasn't friendly? We'll play that back to you. I should really start uh, a, like a compilation, start clipping all these things so that the day he gets his papers and dumps her ass, we can play them all back to her. Smug biatch. You're going to eat all those words. Yes. No dancing, you're not blocked. If you were becoming religious, the key word here, spring heel jack, and you actually said it in your own comment, becoming. People don't change overnight, okay? People also, how would you, you would probably lose your crap. Actually, you probably don't even have the courage to be a YouTuber and deal with all the hate I do on a daily basis. So can it? Hi, Legally Blonde. You haven't made changes. Oh, Cherie, I'm not going to let you determine what I've done and what I haven't done in my life. You know nothing. Block Marge, where is she, Tracy? I should make somebody a mod. Call me to F off and block yeah, where'd Karate Joe go or uh, fucking Tragic or any other PDF file that you'd like? seems like you like to surround yourself with them. It's nice. Have the audacity to call me a groomer, please. Phobic. No, I don't remember that. Sorry. <laughs> Bring out the hamster. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> gotta catch up. Sorry, guys. Okay. Happy New Year. Can all of you monitor people showering habits? They have nothing else. Like, they have nothing else. They're dumb. Um, I, I volunteer for my hostel day. <laughs> Seriously, I need some mods in here. Tell them Large Marge sent you. Hey, Dark Desert Highway. I mod Rocket in me. I should mod you all you guys. I mean, usually I have Solo, but he's busy. Tracy, yeah, I was thinking of you and like Missy Muva. Yeah, I think so, Rose. I didn't say she pimped her kid. What? I never said that. You're implying that, not me. Oh, like, what? Anyway, I don't care about her. She's irrelevant. I don't even want to talk about her. No way I could deal with all the criticism you deal with on a regular. So that mean I'm a pretty secure person. Solitaire. So that like my challenge is going to be like trying to be a better person. And I guess that means that you have to just like take it and ignore it and just like never address it. Live your life. The revenge is living a happy life. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> if revenge is living a happy life, girl. Well, what? Finish that sentence. You're never going to have a happy life and nobody's convinced of any of this shit. What a joke. I never thought it would be possible after the crackhead joke, uh, crackhead joke, crackhead arc for Chantal to make a bigger fool of herself, but here we are. Hey, boo-boo. <laughs> What's the tea? Okay, what did he say? Because I didn't see his 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 super chat. I didn't see it. Um, hey, Rocket. Don't want anyone. Jay Wow. Hey, Jay Wow. Welcome to Very Important Users. Very Important Users. Winnebago Warrior. Thank you. I don't have sweat on my forehead. It's a highlighter. Just go to members only, maybe. The better you get, the more they're going to hate you. What? What? That doesn't even make any sense. I can't deal with it. This is what makes me rage. Why is my happiness affecting anybody? Like, what the heck is wrong with humans? I need more pets in my life. I can't deal with people. I just can't. Please don't get any more pets. Please, God, for the pets. People, no matter what. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. Lolo, member for 18 months. Oh, Lolo, ready to read these. Thank you. Log policy. Oh. Oh, no, thanks. Now I feel like a biatch. You are one. Ha, ha, Ariana. Ha, ha. Mm -hmm. ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. The fuck is wrong? Oh, this is almost 40 years old, y'all. Wow. Hey, that member for seven months. Loyalty teaser. Thank you, community time. Ready, shit, we tease. <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> Louise. She'd never have the balls clover. Never, never. Who's this? Welcome to Grand Corps Beach, right, Jeffy? Hey, you guys don't go anywhere, okay? Oh, no, it's Sarah Plain. I laugh like a mouse. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was not even doing anything but defending myself. No block policy. So why have mods? Just get rid of them. <clears throat> okay, we'll change it after. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to get the hamster and I'm going to, um, hold on. I got to get something. 
Oh, no. She's getting the fucking hamster. Hold on. I'm skipping ahead past the fucking hamster bullshit. Oh, she doesn't have the hamster. Okay. Yeah. And. <laughs> Golden girl. She said it herself on her channel. And I don't care really about the past, but you all are throwing Chantal under the bus. Yeah, that's right. That's horrible. Why say that about her? Who? Oh, goodbye. Omnipotent mama. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> goodbye. Hi, Tyler. Uh, sorry. Um, the hamster is sleeping, so should I? I don't want to disturb him. Like, you can't even see him. What? Would I judge? JB on now is her. Who do you know now is her starting a channel? Oh, JB, with her child. She's exposing her kid herself. Yeah. Like, I'm literally, all I said was the bonus daughter thing, which she literally said on your mama's stream. So, how does that make me a horrible person? <laughs> who cares, Princess Nala? She would have nobody live watching her if she wasn't talking about me. Her vlogs get like 2K views. So I'm watching these. Oh my god, she was talking about me again. No, I've never done a vlog. Stop it with the fucking vlogs. When I do a fucking vlog, if I would ever do a fucking vlog, I'll let you know, Chantal, okay? I was watching you. I was not watching you last night. What are you talking about? Oh, she's only live. She's got more people than me because she's talking about me. We weren't. We were watching Doherty Dozen. We watched the whole stream was a short of Doherty Dozen. We sat there talking. And had more people in chat than you do. It wasn't about you. No one cares. You reckon she pearl clutch yet again, knowing they are wrong. Exactly. I shall call him Sir Harrington McCamster Pants. I know. Um, Hammy Hamilton was such a cute name. And I actually seen Buckwheat as one of the names for hamsters. I was like, what? I thought it was a freaking racist thing. Hi, Freya. I'm having some apple soda. Green apple soda. Have you ever seen this? I don't know. It's good for my diet. Anyways, hello, how are you, Freya? Um, how do you dry? <laughs> uh, well, you can use tissue to dry. You need loads of moderators. <laughs> Where's Harry al Rifai? <laughs> Harry, I guess his last name is al Rifai. Um, He's sleeping in his little hut. He loves to sleep. He, he sleeps and then he takes his poop and he throws it out of his door. Is that normal? And then I scoop it out. I scoop his poop every day. What time is it in Kuwait? 2.47 a.m. I'm starving. Are we supposed to believe she scoops uh, hamster shit every day when she doesn't at all scoop the, the cat shit? I don't buy that. The only thing that scares me about this beverage is that it's radioactive green. Okay, I have to change <clears throat> the title to Your Mama Doesn't Suck because he did. He was nice and fair. Chantal, honey, I will mod for you. This is ridiculous. I appreciate it, you guys. I'm going to see. Um, I think Sal is going to maybe moderate soon. He's playing his game. Um, for Fridays. <laughs> Bad boy. Tragic, yeah. Does she also live in Indiana? <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Tanya, no way. Is that you? <laughs> they have Miranda everywhere. No, Flora, I want them to stop covering me. That would be nice. Let it hurt my channel. I don't care. They all spread lies about me anyway. So actually, they they actually, like, don't do me any justice. Really. Um, so, Indigo, you don't think it's hypocritical of them doing the same thing when I'm trying to change? That's my whole point. We don't give a fuck if you're trying to change. Stop assuming anyone would help you along on your little change journey. When we would see some change, we will comment on it. That's what we are here doing. Commenting on what we see on your channel. Hmm? Well, uh, if they're talking about me and I'm trying to change, we don't give a fuck. Do you understand? We're not your mother. We're not your friend. We're not your fucking therapist. We don't care about your fucking pathetic attempt at change. Because you're not trying at all. If you mean slapping on a hijab to manipulate that man bitch in the other room, that's not change. And I'm not impressed. Colorful head wraps. Yes. I'll still be here. Thank you, Robert Charge Panda. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Tragic. I think in that case, yeah. <laughs> I know. No, they're like little seams, like fuzzy seams. It doesn't really match with my hijab. No, Indigo Moon, he's better. Sal is better. <laughs> Um, I can't even compare Sal with anyone else. He's like the best. It's not so bad. You're only the best I ever had. 
Oh, Miss Cooking Darling, you messaged me? Okay, I'll check it out for sure. Jesse, don't let negative energy get in the way of becoming a better you. Yeah, you're right, Jesse. I should pin this comment. That's what people want. It's so disturbing. Disturbing. Why am I talking weird? I've been watching too many dumb people. Sorry. Yeah, disturbing. You know who says disturbing? Koki does. She's watching Koki. It's like she's living next door to you. She says they're facts. Right. <clears throat> All she does is sit there. Food and food time. Is my channel dying? Yes. You can sell the play chopsticks. What it says? Open chat. Kai needs to take a bath or pulls off outside. She just looks dirty. Ew. I did, Tracy. <laughs> Burrow and meatloaf. Yeah, Miss Chris, you see, the title of our stream is, what is it, like, deleted, foodie beauty, da 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 da, da. If I started with deleted, it's because the thing we're watching has been deleted. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's 862 people. And there probably would be more if there wasn't people stream sniping for their own views because they can't get any on their own. Nobody was sniping her last night. That's the beauty of it. There was no snipe. She only had 800 and something people. Oh, it's because of the snipers. No one was sniping you. <laughs> no one was talking about you, loser. Seriously, I want, them, I want to challenge them to do their own streams about themselves. And then you can say that, okay? When you get upset, they feed off that. It's so gross. What are they, vampires? Or what? Like, what's wrong with them? Do you miss not having a bathtub? No, because... Dream, did you see my other message? Where? Oh, it says message retracted. Please don't take life advice. <laughs> you might have heard it. <clears throat> why aren't you out of the flat for New Year's Eve? Oh, um, it's like two, three in the morning here, AM. That's why. So I don't go out at three in the morning, but we've been out all day. Bring cheese crackers and pickles from the kitchen. I don't have any. We have to do groceries. You have not been out all day. If you if you had been out all day, you wouldn't have the energy for this stream. You haven't been out. You haven't done fuck all all day. Stop lying liar you're looking a little thirsty thank you for the super chat yes but we're gonna eat out till tuesday because tuesday is when they have all the specials at the store <laughs> seriously they have really good ones too so we'll do a, a um <laughs> we'll do a grocery store bees every tuesday in the meantime probably just gonna eat out every day yeah i'm, I'm hungry <laughs> it's three in the morning i don't even know if anything's open energy vampire free advertising alert me of stream snipers there's so no one to add them to the list Mary and Joseph, inshallah. No, those are Christian ones. <laughs> um. You fucking moron. God damn it. She just said Mary and Joseph are Christian names. She wouldn't name her kids Mary and Joseph because they're Christian names. Mm. You know what Joseph becomes, right? Yusuf. <laughs> you know what Mary becomes, right? Maria. <laughs> Both names that you absolutely will find Muslim people having. Yusuf and Maria. It exists. You ignorant fucking swine. Ms. Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. No. I have kids. That's why I'm stuck in. Yeah. I don't want them to have babies anymore. I decided against that. <laughs> Especially if they're not going to be happy. Forget it. That's right, Miriam. Also, not just Maria, Miriam, Miriam. It, it all comes from Mary. They look into it. Um, yeah, no, I know for sure. Fasting it gives your body opportunity to like use up the calories that you you ingested. Oh, hi, Beltus. Bill, I see you. I see you now. I didn't see you before. I have a list of haters that are super jelly of me, but I ignore them because they're irrelevant, petty. Yeah, no. And if you bring up the fact that they're jealous, they're like, what? Why am I jealous of? Well, why are you like focusing all your attention on me then? Day starfish. Hmm? Salah, there you are. Did you enjoy your game? Oh, you could be the first food beauty positive reaction channel. No, people will hate that person. People like to hate me. I know you're going to miss Salah when you leave. My fiance lives in Portugal. We miss each other a lot. Yeah, honestly. What story, Dream? <laughs> Hold on. Baby, can we get McDonald's or something? I'm really hungry. It's New Year's. Uh, no, for Muslims, uh, Jesus is a prophet. Like Mohammed, Jesus is a prophet to Muslims. I don't see it, Dream. Wait. Oh, Dream, maybe Google withheld it. I think Google um, blocked it, maybe. Sometimes they do that to messages, Dream. 
I like listening to you while I do my daily things. It feels like I have a friend venting to me. It's comforting. It makes me feel less lonely. Brittany, yeah. Hey, Nimra. I'm camping. Golden girl. Her ass comes through with the info. Thanks, girl. Moses, also a prophet. I was going to say. It's a global challenge in the game. I take a long time. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, right. <laughs> 1.2K, big deal. That's why she only has 1.2K. I want chicken nuggies. Oh, I didn't have 1.2K. Hold on. Let me look at the creator studio from last night. Watching Doherty doesn't. We had 1.6K and Chantal had 800 people. So keep giggling, dumbass. Your channel's fucking dead. Yeepaw. Thank you for the super chat. And just a reminder, we weren't talking about Chantal last night or really reacting to anything at all. How does that feel, Chantal? I haven't had the chicken nuggets from here yet. Don't mind the cushions. This is from the couch I broke, but we don't want to get rid of the cushions because I like to use them like to sit on them or whatever, you know? And I, I put the, my prayer rug on them for now. <laughs> Ew. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I have to put the laundry in the dryer. Stay mad. Only out of evil and proving someone wrong won't last. Stay mad. Where will you stay in Canada? What? That's a dumb question. <sighs> Above the couch? Yeah. They're just gonna, of course, he knows everything. They have matches in Kuwait. No, but they have the double chicken royal. What is the first poutine you're having? I don't know. I haven't even thought about poutine. It's so salty. I don't have a favorite poutine place in Ottawa, do I? I don't remember. Have you been to? Five, I hate when she five. says things like that. I don't remember what's going on in Ottawa. Do I have a favorite poutine place in Ottawa? I don't remember. She's acting like she's been gone for 10 years. It's been two months. Fucking relax. Uh, thank you. It makes me laugh. <laughs> not yet. No, not yet. But we, it's on the list to do. Hey, eastbound and down. Is that Clara? How does your family look Chantel? I'm sure she's very popular. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's an adjustment. Like, I'm totally a mess. But you guys know. Sorry. Bad memories. Any New Year's resolutions? More water. No, I don't, Larson, because I'm tired of them. I never do them anymore. Just a waste of breath for me. Oh my god, that drink is neon. I know. I don't know what makes it that color. It's in Arabic. Natural flavor? I think we have to change the live topic now, right? Yes. What do you want to change it to? Do you think we can get some something to eat? Are you hungry? Oh my <clears> god. <throat> change the topic. Okay, back to food then. Oh my god, Dahlia. Um, what first thing I eat when I get back is probably Connors. The green. I can't fucking stand this. I'm just jumping ahead. I don't care anymore. We don't have any groceries right now. I don't want anything we have. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We're getting a change of venue. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's check the eyes. Bitch boy is about to appear. We're on the move. Oh, my God. Uh, hold on. FFG did Connors close. I don't know. We don't have Connors in Quebec. I have no idea about Connors. Uh, Duchess, thank you for the super chat. Is it poutine or poutine? It depends. If you're trying to be a try hard and say it with a French accent, it's poutine. If you're just saying it in all its Anglophone accent glory, it's poutine in English. Come on, come on, come and sit down. Come on, I want to see your eyes. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay, I, I can already read him. I've got the read on the salad. I, uh, I don't think he just got home. Or if he did, he was actually working and not with Murad or whatever the fuck. He does not have the sex eyes of the other day. Um, he looks pissed off. He looks super pissed off to me. Oh shit. Yeah. He's mad, mad. Okay. 
Okay, guys, hello. <laughs> hello, guys. <laughs> Good morning, Happy New Year. Is there a Pizza Hut? Yeah, there's no Little Caesars here, though, eh? Hmm? Little Caesars Pizza Place? Oh, okay. Pizza Hut. Yeah, there's Pizza Hut, but I haven't seen Little Caesars. Welcome back. Hi, hi. Salam, Gabriel. Oh, dropping down on the couch. No, not as bad. I have to remember that, too. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get McDonald's because. Happy New Year for all guys. Happy New Year. Yes. I wish you the best. <laughs> Can you not fake a smile while you wish us the best for Happy New Year? You look like the fucking Crypt Keeper. I wish you the best Happy New Year. Fuck. <laughs> he looks like one second away from leaning into the camera and going, I also hate this Kuwait arc. Have I learned? That's my TV. Have I learned Arabic? Not really. Eh? Tapiban. Uh, it's me mostly. Mostly? Mm. Can we take the car out until it goes to sleep a little dragon bees? Go <laughs> out? Mm. I could never drive here at all. That's right. It's not even <laughs> He's like, there. touch my keys and I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I don't know. You have to be no. You have to know. <laughs> <laughs> Speak Arabic? Okay, what do you want me to say? Um, Masa Harir. I think good evening, but it's like, it's morning now, so Sabah Harir. And you would say back to me? Sabah Noor. Sabah Noor, yes. Hi, PNB. PNB says hi. Hello. You want to use your phone to order now? Yeah. Because we have to wait like a million years. It's like three in the morning here. Three fifteen. Do I look so pale? I'm, I'm very pale. Carter bees. What's pale mean? Like very light skin. Mm. We have different skin shades. It's just different shades. He's more. Would you say you're olive tone? Hmm. Olive tone. Olive tone. I don't know. Your skin. Your skin tone. Olive, he comes from an olive country. He's not olive tone. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. And saying she's pale doesn't mean she's light skin. It means, damn bitch, are you having a diabetic episode? You look pale as fuck. It's not the same. KD, thank you for the super chat. But oh, what game were you playing? Warface. <clears throat> Warface. Uh, yeah. Oh God, you called him Sham. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not whispering. Oh, we're near the hallway. Is him up? Because Harry's sleeping. I want to show them his cage. We have to take him out. Show them his little house. Oh my god. He blocked his house. No, that's no good. Cotton. So, what's up? <laughs> He's See? sleeping. We don't want to take him out. So, let's just rattle the shit out of him. Harry. He's sleeping as well. Oh, you big chili. He's a snoring, not only sleeping. He's snoring, yeah. <laughs> I can't really see. Oh, do we have do they have fireworks here? I think they I heard fireworks, yeah. For sure, I think. Yeah. Are there really? What is your like um ethnicity? That's too funny. He made his nest super comfy. Is your remote sticking out? No, that's his bedding. Like he takes the bedding and he takes it in his cheek and he brings it up to his house and then he butt fiddled with it. And I even tried like opening a bit of a door because I thought that maybe he can't get out or breathe. No, he takes it right back in and covers it with the door. <laughs> We need to cover the cage with a towel. Really? BBW Leia. Yeah, I know. Harry winks. <laughs> Lemmy winks. Am I going back to Canada soon? Yes. <laughs> the last call makes funny. Okay. What do you want to get? A McDonald's. Mm -hmm. McDonald's? Or something else? Okay. Do you want to check all that and see what there is? Where Uber eats Kuwait bees in. What type of hamster? I don't know. It's like gray and looks like a possum. Mini possum like three this. something in the morning. Maybe he did just come home. You know, like, I don't know. Late night, get McDonald's. Although I don't know where the appeal is if he didn't drink. But I don't know. The fact that he's like down to order McDonald's at three something in the morning. Hmm. <clears throat> he's probably tired. It's late. Yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, I'm so okay, but I'm sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> You want to go to sleep? Poor baby. <laughs> they call him Harry LFI. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Wait, what surgery? Let me search for the restaurant, please. Yeah, you know what? I really want to see him in Thailand, too. I want to see him smoke weed, maybe for the first time, or, like, first time on camera anyway. Clearly someone who doesn't very often. And just watch him fucking, like, get munchies, eat with two hands, laugh at every stupid thing. And so that's an arc I could maybe be down for. Just... As long as they take us out of a room. Oh, I'm so sick of this fucking room. I know. I should be a good housewife. I have an idea. 
when we do groceries. I'm gonna make sala, my church basement spaghetti and garlic bread. Do you like garlic? Yeah, they have bread here. Rio, oh my gosh, look at it, baby. $50, thank you. Have fast food on me and happy new year to you both. Thanks, Rio. <laughs> That's so nice of Sent you. you. Thank you, Rio. You're sweet, thank you. Thank you for being a vegan. and thank you for your donation for food. <laughs> Want some McFlurry? I don't think I have that here. Lolo, Lolo. Lolo. Uh, Lolo. As, that's so funny she can pronounce the name of the food ordering app no problem but everything else she mispronounces on perfect on purpose because she thinks it's cute but then also accused me of mispronouncing his name on purpose and i'm a racist she's just so cute when she does it guys oh my gosh loyalty baser thank you Lulu. you're also sweet and, and Lolo is too that's why i confuse you guys Bees. Rebees. <laughs> rebees, though. Yeah, whenever they rebees. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Re. Every month they can rebees. Mm -hmm. Most pet stores usually only do one sex at their store, so you don't get same sex. Yeah. Zero regrets. Thank you so much for the super chat. Happy New Year to you. Thanks for being here. Um, I was reading ahead, so ghost her butt. There ain't going nowhere. He can't wait to be rid of her. Agreed. Um, we're not ghosting. I can't ghost. I, I just, I can't, I can't 100% leave Shantopolis. I've been watching too many years. I got to see how this shit ends. <laughs> However, I promise less of her content. Like I can't do this every day. I, I just can't do it. This is a rage stream. It started as a rage. It's already so boring, but it's like, okay, now we're into it. I, I, I got to see the dynamic between them. I heard there's a funny moment when he joins. I'm kind of waiting for it now, but in general, uh no 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 there's no more sitting through this shit every fucking day anymore we'll do a few days of chantal a week you know what i mean we can pick and choose kind of cherry pick the best if there is any to watch during the week but i would prefer if it was more doherty content than chantal and even if it's not i'm not fucking watching this every day anymore no too boring i don't think they usually sell in canada they don't sell them uh, together i should have remembered that has Sala always kept? Have you always been a night person? No. Okay. You usually. Not really. Sometimes. Yeah, it depends on your schedule, eh? Yeah. You look really tired right mm. now. I barely open my eyes. Oh no. Are you gonna be able to wait for the food? But, uh, I was around four hours in front of the monitor, uh, yeah. playing and concentrating, focusing on the game. It's been four hours. <laughs> I didn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, and then you had your shisha, which always relaxes you. Hold on. Hold on right there. I need to hear that again. Let's just go back a few seconds. How many hours has we been sitting at that computer? Yeah, it depends on your schedule, eh? Yeah. You look really tired right mm. now. I barely open my eyes. Oh, no. Are you going to be able to wait for the food? But, uh, I was around four hours in front of the monitor, uh, yeah. playing and concentrating, focusing on the game. It's been four hours. <laughs> I didn't feel like it. Oh! Isn't that interesting? It's been four hours. It doesn't feel like it. He just confirmed that it's like 3.15 in the morning. Excuse me, but if you work back four hours, that means you were absolutely not celebrating the New Year's ringing in with your new husband. He was sitting on a computer in another room playing. You didn't even realize that time. Oops. Oops, there goes your whole charade of like, guys, it's already New Year's here. We've already passed New Year's and we've celebrated all day. He's been sitting on the computer for four hours. It's 3.15. Bitch, you are alone on New Year's Eve. That's why you're raging. And that's why you want to stuff your fucking face. Gotcha. James Christian Jr. Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy New Year. Yeah, and then you had your shisha, which always relaxes you. Two shisha, not only one. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, hold on. I want to ask you something. But where did he have the shisha, Chantal? Did he go out to have the shisha or was he just smoking shisha in the living room? You know, the living room that has no windows and now has a hamster in it. And you've been talking mad shit about me being a smoker with windows and fans and shit and two dogs. There's no windows in that house. I hope he wasn't shishaing in there. Also, because I was thinking of what maybe relaxed you was your um, foot soak. Like, he's having a, so Sully needs to have, I want to ask him if he wanted me to tell. He has to have a surgery next week for uh, ingrown toenail. So I've been bandaging his, is he bleeding? Yeah, bleeding again. What? <laughs> Why is Okay, so that explains the foot soak next to the toilet. Everyone was saying like, that's not salads. What's that foot soak? Salad needs a foot soak. 
for an ingrown toenail. Oh, isn't that funny? So he just went back to work and now he's having surgery. Interesting. Hmm. Wouldn't you maybe schedule that surgery on your never ending holiday that apparently just ended? That's kind of weird. Just saying. If you really had a job. MPT, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, have we all noticed the lady silhouette on his shirt? Yeah, it's it's Kappa. I, I think it's fucked that, yeah, why should he wear Kappa if she's got to cover it up? Uh, I don't know. It's a little hypocritical, but his tight fucking pants in their latest, uh, God, what was it, on the, on the couple's TikTok? They made a compilation. He's wearing, I mean, the tightest pants you've ever seen in your goddamn life. You could read the date on the change in his pocket. That's pretty fucking hot I'm too. No one needs to see your like tiny dick outline. Jesus. While well, she's there with a baya on. Is it bleeding? Because we soaked it? No, it's okay. It's normal for this. Oh yeah. Mm. So we have to soak his nail. So I put his um made him this soak with salt water, warm water. Can we get a hamster cam? Yes, Tyler. I think so. But Sala thinks he's too boring for a hamster cam, right? <laughs> By the way, I saw many videos on YouTube uh, about um they bought two hamster in one cage. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you showed me the one live stream. Mm. Thank you, Gia. He actually had, I don't need the toenail update. He actually had a surgery. When was your surgery for Thank you, Gia. Mm. The last one? Yeah. Before, uh, I think around three to four months. That's it? Mm -hmm. Oh no, poor you. Crispy bun. Why are they operating your foot every four months? Did they bungle the last operation? That doesn't sound normal. Yes, I take care of him, of course, naturally. You know, when you love somebody, um, he um, had it on his other side and then grown toenail on his other side of his toe. And now on the same toe, like, there's it's um, coming again. So I do you like McDonald's? Actually, Chantal, uh, take a good, uh, take care of good, what? Take good care, takes good care of me. Takes good care of me, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. Aw, thank you. Are you convinced? Uh, um, I'm convinced she's perfect. Under his breath, he's like this fucking sheep, tabarnak, <laughs> or whatever the Arab equivalent of tabarnak is. Uh, wait, it would be like wheely, 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 wheely. They're like Neri. You're welcome, babe. Except when I rage, I shouldn't be raging on my haters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we gonna eat? I'm ordering no, McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make the hamster nibble his toe. <laughs> yeah, I would <laughs> nibble up his whole toenail. I had both my big toenails removed. Make sure you know if you want your nails permanently removed. I didn't expect that question. Interesting, um, Deka. It's true. A Badoon has to pay for their own surgery, right? No uh, social services for non citizens, right? That's a good point. It's making uh, the inflation. Yeah, inflammation. Inflammation. But Colleen was saying she had to have her nail completely removed because she had the same problem. I did this operation two times. First time, they removed the whole nail and it's come again. Then they cut the part and it also come again. This is now the third time in one year. What? Oh Three times in a row. <laughs> Thank you, whoever messaged me that. You know who you are. Yeah, that's bad, baby. That's a lot of uh, nail operation. So it's like no matter what they do, no matter what you do, they come for you. <laughs> Poor baby. I'll take care of you. It's okay, Adi. Cutie yes. It's okay, Adi means no problem. Mushkila means no problem. And I said that they, they remove a quarter of the nail. Who said oh. that? Uh, oh yeah, really. Mm. Crispy buns removed the toe. Oh my god. Imagine there's no delivery. Only you have to pick it up from the restaurant. So we have, I think, Burger King. Yeah. No, hold on. That's part two done. Ugh, let me get the third part. Hold on. If you want something fast, I can bring uh, hummus or apple. With 10 minutes. <laughs> Isn't there a Hardee's up the street? No. Oh, but you only want fast food. He just said he could bring you falafel real quick, quick. You love falafel. You're always going on about how great is the falafel. Can we get Hardee's? God damn it, Chantal. He's like, you didn't kiss me at midnight. You were playing your game. I'm getting Hardee's now. Long uh, way. Is there a cold fly burger thing or make or something? No. Okay, I can go and pick it up. Okay, are you sure? But you're tired. No, it's good. Oh, uh, this for you. No. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Damn, Dot, listen, if I was salad, I would be. I'd be like, I can't put up with this bitch. If I can find someone else fast, we can ship her back to Ottawa. Abby, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy New Year, girl. Uh, Pepsi or Coke, please. I have to bring my jacket. It's freezing outside. Yeah. 
Burger King, please. Oh my God, he's literally going to Burger King at 3.30 in the morning. Wow. What the fuck is the matter with this guy? Would you leave your house at 3.30 in the morning for Burger King? Burger King. You might get me. I would leave my house at 3.30 in the morning for like crab legs. Oh, fuck. I would, I would, I would travel an hour at 3.30 in the morning for crab legs. I would. But Burger King at 3.30 in the morning? What's the matter with you, Salad? Tell her, go eat some of the fucking cheese in the fridge or the snacks for the non-existent guests. Oh, wait, she probably ate them all already. Bloop. We had dinner a long time ago. It's like 3.30 here, Lola. Go with him, take us too. Mm. No. <laughs> I'm going to stay here. We want to go. It's no, not like uh, Canada. Stay here until rest until I come, okay? Okay, thank you. See you guys. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> funny. That is funny. Should we go with him? Someone says in the chat. And he, before she even says anything, he goes, no, you stay here and take a rest. I'll go. Like, fuck, the only reason I'm even leaving this plate at 3.30 in the morning is to breathe some air that doesn't smell like blue cheese and not have to look at your fucking massive face. Let me go to Burger King alone. Anytime. <laughs> oh, can you get mozzarella sticks too? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Ah, Liam B. That's interesting. That You know what? Good point. I hadn't factored that in. Would you get off your ass at 3.30 in the morning for Burger King for citizenship? Good point. Touche. Who's Darcy? What am I? Okay, let me block. Why are people still raging? Get falafel. The toenails are beating. Get away from the toe meat. I don't see them. I think I blocked them. Good man. BBW Leela. <laughs> Opening chat once a week. You made it through all the tomatoes. Oh, yeah, that doesn't bug me. Um, it's just annoying that it's spamming. That's all I care about. Believe me, I'm over the fact that I was bullied as a teenager. No, maybe not. I'm not fully over it, but people like to rub these things in your face, I guess. Why beg? See, it's controlling. No, I'm not begging. It's not controlling. It's, um, he takes good care of me. He keeps pictures of Canada on his phone so that while he goes off to the Burger King in his car, he could just like look, scroll through the pictures and be like, keep your eyes on the prize. It's all going to be worth it once I get my fucking passport. <laughs> of course, Lola has to live to Burger King. Hi, Dana. <laughs> He's so sweet, I can't deal. Irene, no, he does not. I like what? I totally walked out. Girl, my friend's parents met and married within a week. They're still together. Love is strange, but I support your happiness. I never expected this to happen. Honestly, I know it's so weird, and you're going to think I'm just weird. Okay, sorry. <laughs> my nose is dry. But I asked, remember I asked God to give me a sister, and I got one? I asked God to send me somebody I can spend my life with. And well, here you go. Like, especially after freaking out and just being like, asking God, like, why did you put me through this? And I like blame God a lot for everything that happened, you know, with, with what? And now he brought me somebody sweet and gets me Burger King at night. He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new bar, everybody. If your mans won't go out and get you Burger King at night, he doesn't love you. You're not loved. You're jealous of her relationship and everybody wants to be her. Hmm? I hope he spits in her burger on the way home. Let's love. Yes, spinster. You are spinster, right? Broken to broken toe burger bees. My habit, Mo. I like my salad. Sweet lavender. I miss Putin. Yeah, a little bit. A trail of blood all the way to Burger King. Who else in Girl World can hold the room without ripping and reacting to someone else's content? Me. Heck, I can't even stand watching her content, so it won't be a regular thing. I think. I married the bartender 21 years. I know, Jesse. Couples who booze together stay together. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to wake up Harry, but he's boring. And I want to, I want to show you him. <clears throat> Everyone deserves someone. Taxidermy Mary Bees. <laughs> How is your Mika done? What is that? Okay, look, Nimra. I've been in the process of like learning more about Islam. Um, but it hasn't been very long. So I'm still learning a lot. Like I was Christian for a long time. Actually I was atheist and then Christian, not atheist. I don't think I was ever atheist, I think I was agnostic. <sighs> Sala asked God to, to give him. Okay, follow up question. If anyone's ever, you know, troll in the chat uh, to Chantal, when she starts about, I'm learning about Islam, be like, oh yeah, okay. Tell us some stuff you've learned. Give us five 
facts, let's say, five things you can tell us about Islam. Go. <laughs> I guarantee all she's going to tell you is how to pin a fucking hijab. She hasn't learned shit. She is not learning shit. All she's doing, if anything, is like, guys, I'm, I'm getting better at hijabs. <laughs> I'm trying to improve my fucking hijab. Stupid. Sean Toddler, thank you for the super chat. What in the Beetlejuice or floating head is going on here? <laughs> Purpose in life and God made him a living burger fetcher. <laughs> oh, he's sweet. He's a sweet husband. He really is. We, a long time ago, um, hi, j -Dot, welcome. Have you heard that? I think you're working on a complete Goofy Beauty blackout. <laughs> Another one that lasted what? I remember going like, so I think we're going to like blackout Foodie Beauty. Like, dude, dude, your entire channel is about me. Block me out. <laughs> Are you firing yourself? Yeah, no, the funniest thing, that Gorlick bread blockout, that was such a fail because, first of all, nobody contacted most of the reaction channels. So, like, and then they tried to act like, oh, my God, you didn't participate in the blackout that you weren't even told about. Whatever. The funny thing is that they made an effort. Gorlick bread made an effort that last time to, like, oh, yeah, let's do a blackout right now. Nobody has discussed the blackout. Nobody is in like cahoots about like, yeah, let's not discuss Chantal. You're just so boring that naturally all the like most popular reaction channels have not been talking about you. <laughs> it's happened all by itself. It's really funny. That's what, that's what makes it so funny this time, girl. It just happened because what the fuck even is this content? Who cares? Well, anyways. I love this meme. Do you hear him kicking? Get you a man that drives to the camp for you. Mm. I hope Burger King at 4 a.m. is good. Hey, golden girl. God didn't allow anything, girl. It doesn't work like that. When you believe in God, it really does. McDonald's is very healthy. I really liked. But I have to, like, whenever I, like, rage, I don't think about God. <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel like I'm, like, I'm doing something bad. But like my anger is really explosive and it's hard to control. Like I get really, really, oh no, my phone's gonna die. I have to get me charger. <clears throat> Freya, you figured it out. Welcome to Rare Impaired Users, Freya. Where's the bees? No way, Perry. Kanye gets 10 views, not really, I know. Or tell Monique proof of life. Oh my God, Wanda, do you remember the blackout thing? Meg, welcome to Loyalty Users Club. You're welcome. I will always, I am so like, ugh. No texting and driving. <laughs> Different laws here. <laughs> Have this Burger King open at this time on holiday. It's not really a holiday here. Like people don't celebrate New Year's now. I think I think there's a Muslim New Year's, isn't there? <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> I was gonna cry a little bit. There she goes in another lie. Uh you don't think people celebrate New Year's there. You were telling us before you came into the living room when you were in the bedroom still, you threw it in everyone's faces with your hand going that you had, you guys had celebrated all day and that New Year's was already over there. And now here you are half an hour later saying that you don't even think they celebrate New Year's there. So which is it? <laughs> That's where they have a million subscribers. Yeah. And they probably, I don't know. Um, Oh, good for you, Idaho, Jesse. Scale, some of them are 24 hours. The hamster's cage is bigger than Kaisha. Bigger, better than, like, we have a small apartment. We don't have room for a big aquarium for a freaking hamster. Sorry. <laughs> Animal activists everywhere are going to be like, he has a good place. And you know what? Oh, okay. I found on Amazon, because here, there's not many hamster accessories. Yeah, Sandra, he is. But in Canada, on uh, no, Ariana, to be honest, she was live when I scheduled mine. I, I was being an asshole and I scheduled it because I saw she was live and I knew we weren't going to talk about her and I just wanted to fuck with her head a little bit. So that's why we went on like fast, like we did last night. It, it was to be a jerk. I said I would do it and I'll, I'll keep doing it. I think it's really funny because it makes her very angry. <laughs> Look, she's, she's still not even comprehending the fact that we weren't watching her last night. But she keeps going on about that. There was more people in our chat last night, which clearly, like, it's bothering her. We weren't talking about her. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so goddamn happy, but we'll keep doing it since I see it's pissing her off. On Amazon, I'm going to order it for coming back. Oh, my God, I'm going to order the crap out of Amazon things. Like, all the money I save being here is going on Amazon and cloggers. <laughs> Imagine you work at New Year's Eve at Burger King. Everything is <laughs> With a bleeding foot. This foot. No, it's just his toe a little bit of blood. Because you know what? I think all the bad stuff is coming out 
Um, what a chinchilla. New Year's resolutions? Don't have any. I know, Golden Girl. She sits there all serious, like, and what are you doing, Chantal? <laughs> what are you doing? Put the darts down. Is she talking about me or am I just saying now? I don't know. The darts, the darts. Try hard. Men, put the, I'll never put the darts. I mean, I'll put the darts down when I want to put the darts down. Are you jealous? Because right now, you know what's in my hand, Chantal? It's not a dart. It's a J. Oh, that gelato mint is so nice. You know, nice and legal over here. You jealous? Ah, with your non-husband getting your fucking Burger King in the middle of the night? Loop. <laughs> Kaya, it was, oh, it was Kaya. I always forget that. Yeah. Okay. Kaya smokes or she accuses her of smoking too. Just because she keeps calling us Patty and Selma. I thought she was talking about me or just saying. Okay. Anyways, you have to have a double chicken royal. Oh, no. Burger King's closed. Okay. It's a lot of news. It's okay, baby. But I also cry if you don't worry, sweetheart. Aww. Oh my God, he pops in her chat from the road to tell her that Burger King is closed. <laughs> How much you want to bet Burger King was open, but he didn't want Burger King. He wanted the falafel. That's why he mentioned the falafel. So he just felt it was easier to say, no, 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 Burger King's closed. We're getting falafel, you beach. Seriously confused. Thank you again for Super Chat. No space for an enclosure. Don't get a hamster. I agree. And I found it weird that she said that there's no space for an enclosure because that apartment is big. How come you have no space for an enclosure? There's, there's space for an enclosure. Unless when you leave, he's going back to that weird closet. The closet did not have room for the enclosure. I don't deserve you. I really don't. <laughs> I swear. I'm going to cry. I've never had anyone speak like this to me. It's so weird. It's so nice. I had an ingrown toenail, ingrown nail removed once and they told me that the way they removed it should stop it from growing back in the future. I know, can you not pour it for him? I don't know. We've cried for Burger oh, King. Oh, he was messing with her? Oh, that's funny. I can't believe it. It's true. Louise, yeah. I think so, Lola. <laughs> he has um, a console in his car to watch things like he can put YouTube on. <laughs> he probably just has it like in the background. Oh, no, he's, yeah. he probably stopped at Burger King. You can listen to streams when you're driving. Pin the top of the hijab. I have a pin here to pin this, but I just put it on quick because look at this. I have this thing on too. And this covers everything. I like this thing because you know why? It covers everything. I just tuck it in my body and it like covers like all the way to here. So I don't have to worry about this being sheer. But you're right. I don't know. It's kind of a style, no? <laughs> Hi, Aline. The saint of patience. No, we didn't go see fireworks, no. McDonald's is open. Okay, you didn't go see fireworks. Tell us what you did. Why do you always withhold all? Like, we get it now. She slipped. They haven't done anything for New Year's. But why don't you tell us what you did? And since it's New Year's in Kuwait, where's the vlog? Shouldn't you have vlogged it? Would you have been like, oh yeah, guys, we did go out. I, it'll be up on the ch couple's channel or whatever. Our first New Year's Eve together. And now we know that, yeah, in Kuwait City, there is a big outdoor celebration for free that everybody goes to for New Year's Eve. Why didn't you go? <laughs> like, I love that they didn't go. <laughs> Trouble in fake paradise already makes me happy. Miss Movie Buff, thank you again for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. I like the nickname. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, he is really cute. He's really handsome. He's really amazing in every way. You know. I feel like I've known him for years. I can't picture my life without him. The new couples video? Excuse me. Yeah, it's growing. It's so dry. I can't picture my life without him. I've known him two fucking months. And I could never picture my life without the crackhead before him. He worked sure. Yeah, he does. And just like getting used to it more. I, this is my probably my favorite style. You know? But I ordered for... Okay, think about it though. Yeah, salad is gaining weight. It's visible. What if it's because of the same reason, sort of the coping me mechanism like Chantal? A single guy who was active on Tinder before Chantal appeared on the scene is probably used to getting it in. Hmm? All that testosterone in your 20s and stuff. And here he is sitting there playing video games for four hours on New Year's Eve because his fake wife is in the other room. He can't fuck around. So his blue balls are growing 
like crazy too. And uh, maybe he's stuffing his face to cope a little bit too. I just remember he wore that Kappa shirt uh, like two streams in a row when she had just arrived to Kuwait and he didn't have boobies. And now there's like, there's, there's a little bit of boobies you could jiggle in his shirt. When I get back to Canada, because I can use my card on Amazon, I need to get some hijabs that you should see these ones. Oh my gosh. You cannot wait. They're going to be awesome. They're like long, big ones and they're like jersey material. And I got some magnets. I can't find magnets here, which is weird. But anyway, it comes already put together. So I just put it on my head. Here's already assembled. See this with this one, I have to pin it. I put a pin here. But with the, the new ones, it's already assembled. And all I have to do is just wrap it and it will stay put. Oh, yes. Okay. Imagine Very being too lazy to tie a fucking hijab. Row, row. Thank you for the super chat. Wait. What if he is waiting for her to leave so he can dump her? I'm living for that arc. I have a theory. <laughs> theory. I have a theory that when she goes home, he gets right back on the Tinder. And he literally starts looking for a better plan. Another way to get here. You know what I mean? If he can find one, it's done for Chantal. If he cannot, okay, bitch, make me my papers. Oh, is Louise the Twitter lady? You're very infamous. People are like, who's Louise? <laughs> Sounds like me and my dog. We celebrated our 15th. Oh, mashallah, lavender teas. Mashallah. You know what? <clears throat> Inshallah, that will be Sal and I. I want to be with him forever. Never, 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 never. Oceana song, would he get a bro or would he get a man Z? <laughs> Either way, he needs something. That's something in life, I know people think, oh, you can't be fulfilled without a partner. You can be fulfilled by yourself. You have to be happy by yourself. True. Yes, you do have to be both happy, but he's like helping me become a better person, you know? No way, girl. If you want to think I'm 450, go ahead. Heck, add 100 pounds if you want. I just woke up with my partner three years, five days ago. I'm so sorry, Holly. We're here for you. Duty left you, my husband. I'm really sorry for that. That's hard. Is it like over, over? Or is it just like you think you're going to reconcile? Duty loves me. My hubby would laugh more if I asked him to go out in the cold at 3 a.m. Soak it up while it lasts. And he has like an ingrown toenail, too. He's so sorry. Ma'am, ma'am, don't compare your husband and what he would do to this bot beach. Okay, your husband probably already has the citizenship in whatever country you reside. The odds are you're not being played for a citizenship. Okay, it, it's it's the perfect comment. Who the person who commented in our chat? Like, uh, yeah, he's doing the the most to get those papers. If I said to Mr. X, I did, we're not even married, okay? If I said at three something in the morning, can you drive to Burger King to get my fat ass a burger? Like, I wouldn't even ask. You know, you know what I mean? It would be, are you out of your fucking mind? Like, you, you must be crazy. Did you hit your head or some shit? Are you concussed? Do we need to go to a hospital? No fucking way in hell. But again, he's got a citizenship. It's not the same. Sweet. We take care of each other. I feel like family. You know, no. I feel like I have a whole other life here. I do. Who cares about your weight when you have a man who likes it? Yeah. He does like like you know chubby fat. Doesn't want me to be unhealthy, but he does love me. Obviously, my body's like, you know. If he liked chubby fat, how come every woman that he was following on that Instagram at the beginning before he made it private was super, super slim and Arabic or like Arab, Arab people, Arabic's the language. I'm an idiot. Arab women, very slim, very like the typical Arab look, very dark, mysterious. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. He likes fatties. <clears throat> like, why would he be with me? My eyes are blind staring at the small shot on my phone. Oh, Tyler. What time is it over there, guys? Yeah, rabbit. How many inches long? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she calls it chubby. He likes chubby. Chubby implies you can get on top and bounce. You're going to bounce. Chubby bounces. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Um, death fat starfishes, okay? Not the same thing. <laughs> Maybe one. <laughs> What's up, Mimi? Hello, happy New Year's. Yes, Freya, welcome. Zebra print hijab. It's like 7 p.m. Give us a try on haul. I have just like the same bias, but I'm going to be getting some nice things from Torrid. Um, and I'm going to like modify them to make them more modest. So like some of the dresses. So I have this basic long dress that I bought at a shop, like a 
don't know what kind of job it was, but they have like modest dress clothes in Canada. Oh my God, you're right. Seriously confused. Thank you for the super chat. She's giving him, that's so funny. She's giving him handfuls of treats for his toe. <laughs> no. Everything that lives with Chantal, the nails grow into their feet. What is this? She's like a bad omen, fuck. Dress. And I wear that underneath my bias with pants, like leggings. So all I have to do is wear leggings under it or that dress. So I have, there's a lot of options because I like how toward, if I buy like a 5X, it will be super loose or at least loose where it won't be warm fitting. So... There's options here. We're buying fucking Muslim outfits from Torrid now. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. How times have changed. Last year, we were buying the most god awful lingerie we could find at Torrid and planning on a wedding dress from Torrid. And now we're looking for like, like Muslima outfits on Torrid. Well, well okay. I agree with these things. I wouldn't be married to someone who's from this culture, you know? I wouldn't. I'm totally fine with the man he is. I'm totally fine with this culture. And I'm not saying every culture is perfect. Maybe there's things I don't agree with, but still, I'm still respectful of it. And I definitely agree with the modesty thing now, for sure. Like maybe see, like I'm completely the opposite of how I was, which I know weird people out. Now we go on wish list. Oh, Sam, hey Sam. I'm gonna buy a try on haul. Let's stop talking about her weight weekend. She's like, I'm fat. Since you like pickles, have you salad prepared your Siri and Makus? Kelly, I have Makus in my fridge right now. You've never been happy by yourself. Yeah. I was, no. Yeah, I was. I was changing. Um, things were going on before I met Sala. What are y'all's love language? Excuse you? You're a lie. You're lying to us now or you were lying to us then. Because what was the change before salad? You were claiming at the time all those trips back and forth to Montreal that you were coming here to like one night stand <laughs> you know, or around one night stand. You were coming to Charmout with possibly people you were paying by the hour. That's what you told us at the time. And now you're trying to say that there were changes happening before salad girl. We went back recently. We did a retro react and we went back and watched your last live uh, uh, rage stream right before you put on the hijab. There was no change at all. You were looking like a Charmout with a shit ton of soot on your face, with the uh, the blonde wig on, smoking your joint, and raging at the whole world. What are you talking about? He was married. Uh, I don't. I don't think any of these people actually existed. I think when she was coming to Montreal, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. This guy has some family member here. If that uncle, I feel like it's an uncle. That guy that she was claiming to be sleeping with. I, I don't fucking believe that shit anymore. I think she was coming to set this bullshit up with salad here. I, I just don't buy any of it. At the time, I didn't think she was sleeping with anyone either because every morning she was coming live and raging. And we were saying like, no, she's normally kind of blissful the next morning. You know what I mean? If there wasn't drugs. And there was none of that. There was no one night stands. She was coming here on a mission. Uh, Amanda, thank you so much for the super chat. Cat is named Princess Jasmine. She has cerebral palsy too. And I have had her since bottle age. That's so cute. Well, I mean, not cute that she has cerebral palsy, but you've had her since bottle age. And I love her name. That's really sweet. Languages, words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time gifts, or acts of service. All of you have loved you. Your cat hasn't grown nails, B said. No. No, no, no. He showed me her nails. They haven't grown into the pies. It did happen once because she's older, so she doesn't scratch as much. No, no, no. Don't blame the cat. God damn it. She just blamed the cat for why the cat's nails grew into the pads of his feet. Oh my God. She just blamed the cat. It's the cat's fault because the cat's old and doesn't scratch enough. No negligent pet owner. It's your fault. You're the one with the elderly cat who doesn't scratch enough. You have to stay on top of it and regularly get her fucking nails clipped. God damn it. She just blamed a cat. She, this is, this is it. It's never her. Yeah, but this one. Yeah, but this, we're blaming a cat now. That told me, and I did feel bad about that. I didn't realize. Oh, yes. So now I have to take her. She flips out if I try to cut her nails. Pets don't like to be fussed with in any way. Harry, why don't we come up? No, she flips out because you don't do it. If you get a pet used to something, they don't flip the fuck out. They just accept it because they're used to it. 
Dogs don't like having their nails cut either, but shit, they accept it because you do it to them their whole lives, right? The cat flips out because you've never fucking taken care of her, Chantal. Why does he have to sleep all day? She's talking to herself. Do you think all of this will end when you guys get to Canada? Be realistic. I don't want you to get hurt. This is all fake showing you're getting face. <laughs> no, it's totally real. I'm only going to be going back to Canada for a short bit and then coming back and we're going to enjoy life together. And then I'll, um, I think I have three more, like after I come back again, we'll just have to figure out, like plan our future. Happy New Year, BTP. Hey, Shereen, Katie, happy New Year's. It's 1244 UK time. Ah, yeah. Um, I see all the changes in you. It's 645. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. I see all the changes in you, Chantal Salas, the sweetest guy. And I hope so much happiness for the both of you together in the future. Thank you. That's really nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. God, these people in her chat are just as stupid as she is. I see all the changes. Okay. Okay. Go check your eyes if you see changes. Come on, Gabriel. Kuwait is the most obese country. So what's the problem? I know, Activia. I think it's because of the population. Per like, it's a small country, but there's a huge population. Maybe that's why. I don't know. There are a lot of obese people, but not as much as I see in Canada. Yeah, that, that's just not true. She kept saying that at the beginning, and then people were proving her wrong just by Google checking that Kuwait is not the fattest or the most obese nation. What the fuck? I don't know if that she thought that would like make her feel better in Kuwait. I don't know, but that's just not true. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so they're like I peanut, think... regular people fat, normal people fat. <laughs> 3XL coat beach. Yeah, I think I'm also really gonna, somebody brought up, reminded me, I'm gonna also look into a mobile vet because I have anxious pets. If you don't wanna get hurt, anybody going with this is toxic. There's like no indication of that whatsoever. <laughs> Whatever you think, Saint Germain. Fireworks are going off by you, really? You definitely seem to have found peace, happiness, and regained self worth. Thank you. Shall not be named diminished. Yeah, it's so different, Beauty and the Bees. Like, I'm so grateful that I'm not doo doo right now. Like, I could be, ugh in that situation so and now i'm in this one <laughs> sorry i don't mean to gloat to sound gloaty but i'm just really relieved honestly yeah don't I fucking go oh my god can you imagine gloating about your fake marriage when we see what went on on new year's eve there's no more gloating he played video games you sat in a room and stewed alone come on i'm i'm trying not to gloat guys <laughs> for my life and but I'm not in a bad situation. Is it really just about the ring? Because she loves flashing the ring. Does she know she could have just gone and bought herself like a ring and like put it on her finger and be like, hmm, I'm jealous. You know what I mean? She didn't actually need a bum. I did. <laughs> Hi, baby. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yum. Thank you. Hardy's. Whoa. Is it leaking? Mm, a bit. Oh, your soda? Yes. Did you get me a lemon juice or something? Oh, you have a small one? Fun's up for you. Oh. Yeah, Tyler, I will. Um, He's not out of his thing yet. I'll wait till he comes out. That was super high. Aha, budget. Okay, let's dig in. Sorry. Oh, my God. Look at the excitement on the corner of her face. You got yourself a small one? It's like, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. You don't need a gigantic soda. Can you imagine? She's, like, shocked by that. Small ones exist? What? Bye, Harry. You'll see him now before I go, Tyler. I hope he wakes up. Wakes up. Mm. Here, you want to come this way? <laughs> oh my God! See, this right here is the most excitement and the most action she's had for New Year's Eve. That fucking fry that she just stuffed in. That's our tooth. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yes. So hard to get twenty dollars. Oh, sorry. No, he almost closed. Four o'clock. Oh. So it's seven minutes with us. Did you get us um, both the same thing? No. Oh. There's two meals. Oh. Well, look at the burger. Is that yours? Or you uh, chicken? Which one do you want? I think this for me, maybe. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, this for you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh the same, I think. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. Burger, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yum. That's a self righteous burger. a self-righteous burger <laughs> what oh my god okay 
double burger at four o'clock in the morning and then there's no drinking. I don't understand this. Surprise. Mm. It has like a mock sauce on it or something. Ugh. If I did this at three o'clock in the morning, I would be awake vomiting at 7 a.m. Oh my God. Ugh. Mm. Thank you for going. Anytime, babe. <laughs> something simple. Yeah, it's a big deal for me. Beautiful Anytime, cake. babe. Even 4 a.m., babe. Looks delicious. They look juicy and fresh. Some guys doing us. Yes, I wish I could share. Want some ketchup? Want well, uh, some bun beef? Yes. Oh, I got all the bottom fries. Look me up. Nice of you. Harry Winks. Happy New Mom. Uh, New Year. <laughs> See you next year. You too, Hotter House. I realized. Guys, if you want to say, uh, tell someone uh, I want to see you tomorrow, just uh, tell them I want to see you next year. Yeah, exactly. Wow, what a great joke. Nobody's ever heard that one before. That was amazing. Salad. And look at him. He, he's like, he's proud of himself. He's like, I am so, so clever. A fucking idiot, man. Shut up. I would say dad jokes, but that's like worse, you know? Ow. Oh. Okay, dad. No, that's even worse. How about that? Oh. And he's like, hey guys, I just thought of this one. <laughs> Look at his face. He's so proud of himself. They'll be like, what? Oh yeah. Where's Harry? He's sleeping. Like, yeah, oh, he like, said yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. We don't have a Hardee's. <laughs> Every reaction channels. <laughs> Tyler, I love when you blush. I've been telling Yeah, Lolo, you guys have been saying that. Touristy stuff, yeah. Thanks, Angela. So long. Well, no, Finny, thank you for the super chat. That, the kiss for getting Burger King, that would be haram. But the gluttony of stuffing your face on this shit at four o'clock in the morning, that's cool. Looks so charming when you are sleepy. <laughs> what's charming mean? Uh, what, what's another word for charming, guys? Uh, look handsome or charismatic. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, no, he didn't understand charming, but I'm sure he understood charismatic. Well done, Chantal. <laughs> We're, um, I know you're like, oh, you're trying to lose weight, but honestly, I went a long time without you. And I ate healthy today. Oh. I went a long time without eating, guys. She told us they ate dinner. Like, you should be sleeping now. Dinner, normally there's not another meal in between dinner and breakfast, Chantal. Like, people sleep. There's no there's no Hardee's burgers at 4 a.m. What the fuck is this? Just be like, yeah, I'm a fatty. I'm stuffing my face. But just, I don't know. If there was less bullshit on top of everything she would say, eh, what, what could you argue if she would answer, yeah, I like to stuff my face. Like, there'd be nothing to say. She gives you something to say with these stupid answers. It's always, guys, this is my first meal of the day. Guys, it's been so long since I've ate. Guys, I ate healthy all day. Always some bullshit. The cheese is really good here. The quality. I'm going to watch. Cheese is really good in Kuwait. I'm just like, we, we listen, you come from a country that has some, like, we have some of the most, most uh, pop, how the fuck would you say that? We have more cows in this country than most countries, okay? Lots of effing cows. So much goddamn cheese here. Oh, the cheese is so fresh in Kuwait. Another thing they probably have to import. Thanks. <clears throat> Happy New Year <sighs> to you guys too. You guys have parties, do you like it? Wait, less is a dream. <laughs> no, wasabi, you're right. Frenchie, you sound like a hater ass beach. She hasn't eaten since last year. You're right. Thank you so much. I love you guys and I love your channel. So calm, so calm. <clears throat> yeah, you see. I've been eating fast food a little too much, but. Mishimu is here? Mishimu, yes. 
Yes, let me see. Um, Tyler, do you guys have yours in the UK? Do you guys have Wimpy's? We have a Wimpy's here. Let me see Moosey. Hatter House, such a good, uh, sweet soul. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's... We agree. Really? Megan, Salah is such a good looking bloke. Bloke? Blokey? Or bloke? He's such a good looking bloke. Uh, bloke, bloke is a English uh, B-L-O-K-E. It means a guy in uh, British. Oh, in British, okay. Sweet Vintage Zoe, Happy New Year's! Thank you. Ah, in British! Thank you, <laughs> Thank you all guys. In British! <laughs> Good night, happy new year. Fucking English, that's the major. Yes. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, it's a huge burger. Mm -hmm. eh? Large. Girl. Oh, it's a huge burger. As if you don't regularly order a hell of a lot more than that from McDonald's in the middle of the night. Oh my God, it's such a huge burger. <laughs> The biggest one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody said talking about Felica Island. I said it's on our list. Boating bees so soon. I think um, within two or three days. Yeah. The weather's been cold. Mm. Madonna, I gotta go and finish. My book, my book to you both. My heart is so happy. Thank you. Oh, my phone's gonna die. Canadian cows are really cute. Fact. Uh, did you guys know that Canada, uh, like cows in Canada, they don't go moo. They go a. They're adorable. Hold on. Thank you so much. Quickly, quickly, babe, quickly. 3%. <laughs> okay. We have to laugh to ourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry's not awake right now. I'm here, J Dot. <laughs> hey, guys, can you see us? Hello. I think they can, no? Hey, genies. We see you. <laughs> Don't tell the Americans they'll believe you, Frenchie. I was wait I'm like reading the chat, like, does anyone buy this shit? <laughs> We also have a thing here called the North American House Hippo. Look it up if you don't believe me. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> the eyebrow. <laughs> the eyebrow, you'll do it. <laughs> Hi, little nitty. Bye, Colleen. Goodbye, Colleen. You're so handsome. You come, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Have your house. Yay. Do you do live streams at our house? When's the Q&A is coming? We are preparing the Q&A. Uh, hey. I love Brooke. Oh, Skipping it, it. it's too much chewing into the camera. Like, what the fuck is this? Black chaos. Oh my gosh, there's no comparison. Pickle soup. <laughs> Almost killed me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> from limping the parties are there any new year's traditions do people celebrate new year's today or is it there's like a muggle new year's or something i saw many uh fireworks oh, okay for the new year wait 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 what do you mean why are you asking him if people celebrate new year's you just told us you guys were celebrating all day wouldn't you know if they celebrated new year's or not Ah, uh, and why didn't you? Everybody too broke to go out and do anything? What's going on? Did he say I saw many fireworks? No, I think he said there were many fireworks, although he may have. <laughs> Sicily, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh-huh. Agreed. Can't wait. <clears throat> luck wishing. Good luck. Yeah, Louie. Mm -hmm. Sally seems very humble. You're welcome for open chat pickle soup. Yes. He did time. say I saw many. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Almost killed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> From blimping the parties. Are there any New Year's traditions? Do people celebrate New Year's today or is it there's like a Muslim New Year's or something? I saw many uh, fireworks. Oh, okay. Ooh, 
you guys are right. I saw many fireworks. Well, I love that the most. I wonder who he saw many fireworks with. His wife and possible child. Morad. Um, <laughs> some rando he met off of Tinder. Who the hell knows? I love that. So that's part of why she was so mad too. She was ditched all alone on New Year's Eve. While this guy was charmooting around doing God only knows what. Watching the fireworks. <laughs> For the new year. <clears throat> like wishing a good luck. Yeah, Louis. Mm -hmm. Ella seems very humble. You're welcome for open chat, pickle soup. Yes, she always have a lot of fireworks <clears throat> for New Year. <laughs> Amber, thank you for the super chat girl. Wait, how you look at me? <laughs> oh wait, uh, in British they would say ta. Hello, babe. Hi. I just want you to know, I want the whole world to know. I don't care how corny it is, but you make me so happy. I mm. want to cry. <laughs> Thanks for the open shot. You're welcome, Lavender. Oh! <laughs> you make me so happy. I want to cry. Mm. <laughs> and then thanks for the open chat. Are you fucking shitting me? Salad, you're not faking it enough. Let's hear it again. It's soul crushing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, babe. Hi. I just want you to know, I want the whole world to know. I don't care how corny it is, but you make me so happy. I mm. want to cry. <laughs> thanks for the open shot. You're welcome, Lavender. <laughs> Make mush. They're saying cute, cute. Thank you. Uh, you see and Haley. Meeting your friend. Yeah, help, me, help me, please, with uh, eating my food. Sure. <laughs> Bonsoir, Chantal. Comment ça va? Shut up. <laughs> I love the way he hates her guts already. Don't you feel like he's sort of like one of us in a way? I hate him. But like, it's like he's more of a hater than anything else. He fucking hates her guts. It's funny. Seriously confused. Thank you for the super chat. Canada Cap say, oh, I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> it may be. You know, this one does. Mm. Bonsoir. Oui, comment ça va? Très bien. <laughs> Très bien. It's going well, J-Dot. How are you, Chloe? I've always been a silent watcher, but I love seeing this happy content inside of you. Thank you. Don't watch my earlier part of the stream because I was raging. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> you both are so sweet. Love you as a pair. Thank you. Beauty and the Beast. I appreciate it. It's being used as a dinner plate. Coucou, Chantal. Sophie the Frenchie. Come on, you. Je te souhaite ainsi que ça la beaucoup de... Français? Oui. Sophie's wishing us a lot of happiness and that we succeed this year in what we want to achieve. <clears throat> and big hugs. Thank you, Sophie. Merci beaucoup. I'm, well, see. I'm impressed about your French. Thank you. Mm. It's not like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, to the person who asked before, does salad speak French? I think that says it all. If you, anybody is impressed by Chantal's French, that means you don't speak French. Have a soup, mom. Hey, girl. Happy New Year. Okay, actually, compared no. to Sophie. So now you're able to speak English, French, and Arabic. Listen, listen, her fucking French is an abomination to the language, and I'm from Quebec, and I'm saying that, okay? Okay. <laughs> what is this? We're going to play video games for them soon? You on Twitch. Oh, on Twitch? Mm -hmm. You can't stand front of me. You would be down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's really good at games. I'm really bad at games, so you like my French, and that's coming from a French woman. Haha. <laughs> so easy. It's my field, babe. I'm thinking, Carl, what'd you wait? I'm going to kill you in the games. Yeah, what's your Twitch? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> we have to go to an arcade, too. So, uh, please don't hurt her. She has been through a lot. Wait. What? This jerk. Okay. Mm. Um. <laughs> Goodbye. Maggie, welcome to Very Important Beezers, Maggie. Where but you said bees. Bees, <laughs> not bees. You're right. <laughs> uh, drop the witch. Uh, oh, witch? drop the witch. No, Sala likes the game, so may as well. You love that? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Larson, 
Salah, how many languages do you speak? 25. Really? <laughs> Voila. 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 <laughs> uh, I know only a few sentences or like a few words, maybe like this, just to break the ice. <laughs> oh, like a scam artist mentality. Just to break the ice. Holy fuck. Like when you're chatting with biatches from all over the world online, trying to get a passport to any fucking place you can go, just Russian roulette it, rolling the dice. So what do you do? You learn a few words in each language. Let me take a wild guess at what he knows how to say in 25 languages. Hello, Sava. Oh, I should say it in English. Hi, how are you? Are you single? What do you do in life? <laughs> what are you looking for? There five things he needs to know in every language that is his fucking game you sack of shit and you have the nerve to sit there and say to break the ice i see you but beached mm -hmm. i know some words just to understand the, the language or to, to uh, make this person happy like he's not not stranger yeah like uh -huh. important yeah. things mm -hmm. hi good morning how are you uh, i'm fine blah, blah blah like this right well that's all you need right now mm. Disco pumps. Oh, the UK loves us. I love you too, except for Tian Sass. Tian does. I like everyone else. Lisa, thank you for the super chat. Hola, hola amiga, ¿cómo estás, hermano? <laughs> you know what's something so cute like you? I just want to eat. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> te quiero. It's me, I love you. Te nada. Oh, te quiero? Te quiero. Aww. It's me, yo te amo. Wow, te quiero. And then he translates it into French. That means je t'aime. That means I love you. Wow, aren't you just an international gigolo? Look at this guy. Ooh, he can charm you in a freaky way in a bunch of languages, but he's good for nothing. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I think I'm bang on the money about my thing about him knowing all those languages for a certain reason too. Dab it, damn it. Like this guy, <laughs> he's so like cliche. He's like, like, like a love swindler or whatever the fuck you want to call those. You know what I mean? It's, oh. it's me in German. Ich liebe dich. <laughs> ich liebe dich. Not ich, not ich, ich. It's like this. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. I love you. Aww. It sounds like. So he tried to get into the fucking Euro zone too. Wow. This guy knows what he's doing. Interesting. French. We could go to France. We could go to Germany. We could go to the Americas. <laughs> Tinder swindler. Exactly. Yes. Tiamo is I love you. That's what we just said. <laughs> Tiamo. But then he didn't even translate it into English because now he's being like he's impressing us with his language. So he goes, Te amo means je t'aime. And je t'aime in French is I love you, right? Oh, he's such a prick. The Swedish chef. It's called Deutsch language. Good night, friend. Jada, I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. He's not, she said. You are. <clears throat> I love my mom, Carol. Oh. I, I think uh, said we love you. Uh, I mean, too. like the French oh. wasn't any good either, but <laughs> he's talking, you know. Danke schön. It's me, thank you. Danke schön? Mm. Danke. It's me, thank you. Oh, danke. <laughs> danke, oh, danke schön. Or gracias, or uh, <laughs> in Russian, uh, spasiba. Many languages. You will get lost with me, don't worry. <laughs> when we travel, huh? Bitte, it's me, welcome. Schön, uh, like a uh, handsome. <laughs> Where's, what's the first place you want to travel to together? Mm, first of all, to the moon. <laughs> uh, I mean, to visit the Everest uh, mountain. Base camp? Base camp. I think we should plan to travel to Everest base camp like in the next couple months. So excited. Holy fuck. She thinks she's going to base camp in the next couple of months. Oh my God. This is going to be crazy. I hope they try to do this and like it'll fail spectacularly and everything just crashes and burns all these plans. But where? Base camp, Mount Everest, Nepal. <laughs> it's just, it keeps getting crazier. Holy shit. Uh, sincerely, Fern, thank you for the super chat. Will you guys want to Everest base? Okay, I'll unblock Cheryl. 5,555 meters. Yeah, but we're not climbing the mountain. The plane will take us, um, we'll cross only 2,000 meters. 
then you have to uh, continue walking. And there's many motels, motels and restaurants and uh, cafes <laughs> on the way. Okay. While you... Look at her! She just panicked! <laughs> she just did that math real quick about how much she's going to have to walk. Did you see that look of panic over her face for a second? First. Hey, Peanut, that's true. I need to hold him. Uh, hey, wake up. Yeah. Harry. Hey. Hey, yeah, Harry, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> nice, cute. Let me show them. Okay. <sighs> Uh, we'll skip ahead. Fuck this fucking hamster shit. Wait. Oh, he's still holding the goddamn hamster. Put it down. No one cares to see the friggin' hamster. This is stupid. Oh my god. Does he hold the hamster till the end? Literally, he's still holding the hamster right up until right about the end. Well, I guess we're going to the end, y'all. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, all guys. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night. Masalam. Bye. bye. Enjoy Jasmine's <laughs> Well, <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect, perfect. Skip ahead. We don't want to watch the hamsters here. Yes. High five, everyone. Woo. Jennifer Lynn, thank you again for the super chat. The trek to Everest base camp isn't as easy as she seems to think it is. Absolutely not. Um, without knowing a goddamn thing about it, I know that it's going to be a lot harder than climbing the stairs of the villa. And she needs to huff the puffer when she gets to the top of the stairs of the villa. So base camp in the next couple of months, guys. Can't fucking wait to see that one crash and burn. Oh, my God. That was bat shit crazy. Bat shit crazy. Whoa. Wow. So there was rage. There was a lot of laughter because she's completely out of her fucking mind. There was hamburgers at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Picked up by Bot Beach and uh, the accidental admittance that no, they have not at all celebrated New Year's together. Their first fake New Year's Eve together as a fake married couple was fake. They didn't spend it together. He was playing video games for four hours, if you want to believe that. Or he saw a lot of fireworks, if you want to believe that. But she was ditched all alone on her first New Year's Eve as a married woman, an alleged married woman. And I love that. That's so funny. And that is why she got so mad. That is definitely why she started raging in your mama's chat. And, and you know what? If you really think about it, it's like, why would she have even been in your mama's chat before she came live? That means it was 12 something, like our time or uh, her time, 12 something. And she was already in like girl world chat, you know? She had totally, totally been ditched for New Year's. Pfft. Thanks for slipping and letting us all know, Chantal. I love I love the confirmation. <laughs> so just, I guess, stay mad, Chantal. Keep raging. It's the only thing worth a damn in this Kuwait arc is these. These little raid streams, and then you have to delete them, and you, you act like a fool, and you contradict yourself. I'm here for you always being the fool. I always will be. That's fun. She's pissed. Exactly. I'm living. <laughs> when she's mad, it gives us something to watch. I'm not here for the fucking food and the fake loving on your fake husband. No. So anyone, uh, this was, it was too long, but the beginning of it was a damn good stream. Thank you everybody so much for being here, for your patience today. This was kind of a longy. Holy crap. Uh, but just, you know what? Revel in the fact that whatever you did last night, whatever you're doing today, you're not a Brand spanking new newlywed, spending it alone on a twin size mattress. All right. Ah! It, things could always be worse. Put it that way. <laughs> Everybody, thanks so, 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 so much for being here. Listen, I know we, I said we might do a retro react on the Twitch today, but this stream was so long. I can't even look at her fucking face anymore today. Let's back burner that shit. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow on the Twitch, we are going to be taking a look at the infamous pumped up kicks stream where shithead gets shit faced completely drunk out of her mind makes a fool out of herself insults everybody right after the texas shooting had happened and uh then physically assaults pete's it's one for the archive all right that'll be tomorrow and uh we'll play it by ear on the youtube if she gives us anything worth a damn we will watch if not we definitely will not okay no more just stuffing face and sitting and silence can't do it anymore can't do it everybody thanks again so so much for being here today 
appreciate it. Happy New Year, everybody. Health and, and only the best to all of your families for the new year. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your New Year's Day, enjoy it. Please be safe. Keep your masks on. And I'll meet you over at the Twitch tomorrow for the craziest retro react ever. Bye, guys.